and a wonderful welcome and happy new year to everyone i'm so sorry i couldn't stream earlier but christmas was so full of videos and stuff but now we are here i actually wanted to stream world record polo march beating like yesterday i saw a bit of it but would have been probably too boring so i just uploaded the video <laughs> But today we're here playing level one uh, creating a new game and we will grab a couple of new engravings i think um let's switch to the game where is it here we go should we skip the cutscenes i don't think you really want to watch it right we are ready my king Tell me the necklace. Have you ever gone fishing? Well, we have 111 viewers already. That's awesome, guys. James Carroll, welcome to the stream. Ehrenvolles, welcome. Shana, welcome. Amy, welcome to the stream. Happy New Year. Chrissy Rock, Happy New Year. Did you get Cyberpunk? Have you played it already? Do you like it? Spartans! Every breath that you have Let's taken just watch the first cutscene here. And then I will moment. continue skipping. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. Persians come to make slaves of us all. Do you have any goals? Uh, making good Odyssey content for I you. That's the goal. The gods with their blood. What say you, Spartans? <laughs> for our sons. First time for you are welcome. <laughs> for Sparta. Ghost starting. You were considering buying Cyberpunk? Go get it. You will be surprised how good it is, really. I can only recommend it. I played it 500 hours myself. And if I play a game for 500 hours, uh, I think that's that means something. Even though that's probably the average for me. <laughs> so I think that can be skipped. Let's do the mandatory battle here with our really poor character. Um, there is not even any difficulty here. I think it's just always the same. When do we actually set our difficulty? I think after this, right? It was like one year ago when I last started a new game, so. I have to beat those. Just beat the captains. I hate this build. This is so weak. You start with just some random shit here. They could have given you at least some decent stuff instead of a spare. Do I even have another weapon? No, I don't. Just have the spare of Leonidas here. That's probably the reason you have this spear here in this battle, why you can see that with a bug later on. Because this is the only part. When I try to skip the weapon, when I press my D-pad, you see that this is a legendary weapon, which is interesting, so... It's the only time you actually use this. Out of my way, guys. I need to get the captain. Wow, that was... That was quick. He just died. I did not expect that. Okay, let's go.
after your live stream I will start to play. Okay. <laughs> so I'm delaying your cyberpunk experience. I'm sorry. Because the game is really good. What is that new update with changing environment? There is actually no changing environment. There was a new island added. So we got Corfu Island. I will also go to Corfu during the stream to get some specific engravings. You can go to that island. So there's a new island here and there's also another island in Valhalla. Um, but if you don't have Valhalla, you can only play here. But it's okay. Actually, the only thing you need from Corfu is a champion, Ostraka. You can actually skip everything else. Okay, now we are forced to do this battle the way I don't want to do battles, and that's what I why I really hate it. I hate to use the lock. I actually don't want to use it. But the game forces me to use it. it. The camera is still locked. I cannot even remove the lock. I never do battles like this. And if you play this game, you should definitely remove the lock on. Because then you have way more freedom um, with your attacks. This focus forces you to play versus this enemy the whole time. And you lose a bit of your awareness of your surroundings. Limits your movement drastically. You just circle around your enemy. Oh, we bull rushed away. Now we got him. Russ Gidmore, a member for 16 months. Thank you so much. From the Rose Bowl. Go Utes. What does it mean? Go Utes? <laughs> Don't play Valhalla, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did it on stream. You can check the last stream uh, where I played both islands. You can just watch it. It was a bit boring. It was a pretty boring grind, uh, the Valhalla part. We had to collect like, I don't know, five shards or whatever. And then we could open the gate and whatever. I don't know. I don't even remember. It was so bad. Surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we? Did he really spit on us? Well, no more spits from you, dude. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. The Chronos Dagger? Chronos Dagger, Chronos Dagger, I don't. Uh, you mean, is, is that the new Tatarus weapon? No. Uh, in general, you should not use legendary weapons at all, dude. Because legendary weapons have inferior stats. They might have like 5 or 10% more DPS. Finally. So we will skip the Leela part definitely. But in general there is rarely ever a good legendary weapon. Weapons should have warrior damage, damage with that weapon type, for example damage with swords and then critical damage. And there's rarely any item that has these stats. Okay. The Atlantis items have that, Are you sure so the Assassin's Spear has I mean, Assassin damage and damage with spares for example. You're if you the pick the Warrior boss? one you get Warrior and damage with spares, so they are really good. But that's really one of the very few exceptions. In general go get some epic weapons from the blacksmith okay, with perfect so stats, so you're way better off doing that. <laughs> I don't even no remember if I ever, ever used Dagger of Kronos, I don't think I used it in any build. Uh, if you need a good dagger, I can recommend you using the Greek Hello, uh, because that is have that one has some pretty decent stats for assassin builds, and also the Atlantean blade is quite a good one. It has armor penetration, has hunter damage, but it has armor penetration on it, and might might be useful. Maybe not if you have the beacon bow. So we go nightmare. Go big or go home. That's what I always say. 
Let me know if it's too intense for you. I can always change the settings later. This bit will let me know how much information it's too will be intense. during your time in the animus. Maybe you could increase the settings a bit more. I don't know. I don't feel the intense yet. Um You don't need to worry about me. Exploration. A little autonomy never killed anyone. At least I don't think so. Just let me know if you well, we have if almost 200 viewers. That's amazing, guys. That's like a new viewer record we have right now. Awesome. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly Let's get this over 200. Let's go. This guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. I cannot skip this. Shit. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all No, I'm not playing PC. I'm playing on Xbox Series X. And I cannot skip this. Oh shit. Come on. Continue talking. Okay. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has The good thing is I have it the game runs on my console and all the streaming stuff runs on my PC, so that's great. If the game crashes, my PC is not affected, my stream continues. Uh, that's actually a good way to do it. If you play on PC, you would probably have two PCs just to achieve the same. So we definitely go with Cassandra here again. She'll help us find what we're looking for. I have a good feeling about this. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. And there we go. We have over 200. Awesome, guys. That's a viewer record. I didn't expect this, to be honest. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Oh, and Victoria, read the book. How did I get red eyes? Uh, that's from certain torsos. If you get the Helios set or the Celestial set, you have glowing eyes in different colors. I think Helios set will give you red glowing eyes. So I, in, in the last thumbnail, uh, you probably mean, I... Uh, had the Helios set torso on and then just used the dark steel mask, the standard dark steel mask, and then I had these cool glowing eyes. That was a pretty cool thumbnail, I think. Okay, I cannot skip this either, so we have to watch our eagle flying. Yeah, Cass is the best. Best voice acting. If you choose Alexios, okay, you can do that. But there are some issues. Um, I think his uh, acting is a bit dumb in general. So he's not the smart guy. He's more the muscle guy. Uh, of course, he fits better to to being a Spartan or in general, you know, because there were no like female Spartans didn't exist, of course. But I think uh, playing the smarter character is is always like smarter. <laughs> I don't like to play a dumb character that answers questions like being a dumb asshole so <laughs> you know so having Cassandra even though she's sometimes a bit lighthearted is probably way better RZ Steel thank you very much for the 1999 and Justin Middleton thank you for the 35 awesome guys thank you both so much Justin and RZ Steel. Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week. And there's also one thing with Alexius because he is changing his voice sometimes. So it sounds like there were like two Close different like voice recordings at some so parts in the game. And, and that is pretty annoying if you have a totally different voice for him sometimes for a different quest. And Cassandra has not it's these issues. Cassandra is pretty fine throughout the whole game. Okay, now we get all our stuff here. I can't move. I'm still receiving... <laughs> I'm still receiving the items. Oh my god, guys. I'm getting all the items now. No, please. <laughs> Let me play. <laughs> it's only the Ubisoft Club stuff. It's only Ubisoft Club and only the starter stuff. It won't be everything. It will only be the starter stuff. I can start actually. I can start. I can start. The game just forces me to do the stuff again, which I don't like. 
Okay. I want to fight you like I want to fight you. Come on. Okay, we'll just use a heavy attack. Heavy attack is breaking their guard, so we can just do a heavy attack and then... We don't have to parry, we don't have to dodge, we can just heavy attack them and then they will stumble a bit and you can hit them. Uh, Christoph Stackman, thank you so much for your 1999 in Super Chat. <laughs> Thanks for being you. <laughs> thank you. Now Cassandra looks like she was hurt. She wasn't hurt. Didn't get a single hit, I believe. Okay, now we can start skipping all this shit. Okay, I will just... I pick this option because I don't want to fight them again. If you want to kill them, you can kill them, but... In a new game plus, I would generally opt to kill them. But here we are level 1, so just tell them to go away. Then you skip the fight. The second fight, actually. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. I'm not getting caught without armor twice today. Walking I actually don't want to use the bonus items. I even don't want to use a zero spare because even at this point, with my sword. Oh, I have to pick up the chest. I still deal more than ten percent of the enemy's health, so it's pointless to use a zero weapon. And I'm not planning to use it at any point in the stream or in later streams. We'll just use our perfect items and then make a really great build. There's probably coming a new uh, low level build pretty soon. So of course I'm doing this to get all the stuff. And then maybe do a new low level build for you next week or so. I don't have to put on armor. If you um, start this game, you will also not have this. Come on. I can put on something. Um, you, you will not have these items in general, normally. Except if you own the bonus stuff. You will have this. You will have a mysterious spell. That's, that's the one I will equip. So, you will have these two. And you don't have a bow yet. Uh, Bandit sword. I might use one of these bows when I reach level 5, so, but I don't really want to use these legendary sets. I mean, I could, but let's see how, how we go without them, because that's the natural way of playing. Of course, you can equip them, but as soon as you reach some higher levels, they, they will become so obsolete so quick. Um, oh, I don't have a bow yet. Oh, they they will attack me anyway, so I should have killed them. Okay, dead. Uh, Tim Vlog, thank you for the 9.99. Does a new game plus exist in this game? Yes, of course, and people play this endlessly because when you do a new game plus and you have also the Atlantis DLC. Um, then you can basically get unlimited points because the Atlantis DLC you can collect like 50 or 60 points I think it's 54 points every time you play the Atlantis DLC and that is actually the fastest way to do that you can rush through the whole story and then play Atlantis collect 54 points and also collect the tombs from the main game like in every place you will collect like um, almost 100 points with all the XP you will also get. That's almost 100 points play per playthrough. And that's way faster than grinding arena or whatever. So if you need ability points and you have Atlantis, or yeah, you should get Atlantis for that. And then just continue doing New Game Plus. Every time you will get another 100 points. There are also a couple of videos about that on my channel. 
Marcos, you don't know wine. I wanted to get a white one actually. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? I want to get the right one this time. That one. Uh, 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 yeah, you don't want to sell me anything. I still want it. Okay, now we have our Phobos. And it's always Phobos. No matter which one you pick, it's always Phobos. And Marcos always doesn't want to, to give you any of these three horses. That's so fun. No matter which one you pick, he's like, eh, don't you want another one? Eh, don't you want another one? <laughs> it's like, wh when I when I saw it, I played it the first time, I thought, okay, he's just doing it for this one, but if you try this again, he's doing it every time for every horse. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> Marcus is just a fun character. When I played this the first time, I almost thought this game is trash because I hated Marcus. I hated this prologue. And especially, I played this with Alexios, I hated it even more. So, then I switched to Cassandra, and once I got rid of Marcus, the game turned out to be really awesome. So this prologue has some awkward quests, of course, here on Kefalonia. Doing all the shit for Marcus, but it turns out to be actually awesome. Okay, crouch. And assassinate. The rest of those get away. <laughs> Do you just hate Marcus? Oh, everyone hates Marcus, I think. <laughs> is there anyone who likes him? Marcus is fun. You like him, okay. <laughs> that Marcos is going to be next. I mean, I think this game, it, it feels like this prologue has been added in a later part of or stage of development. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Um, I think the game was actually meant to start in Focus because we also have our Oikos store there. And we have Elpino being in, in uh, Focus, or he has a house in Focus at least. And I think that was actually the intended start and then they thought about okay we have to teach the players this game this is so complicated we have to add a prologue and then Kefalonia was invented that's my theory though but i don't know if it's true okay i've got you and you've got me everybody benefit <laughs> yeah I mean, Marcus is fun, of course. Now we can skip. You struggle to get resources and Drachme. Just level up, because when you level up, uh, your resources will increase exponentially. In general, you should just dismantle weapons to get resources. And the higher the level, uh, the, the weapons level are, the more resources you will get. And also from those, now we are learning about mercenaries, okay, thank you. So when you sell a single weapon at level 99, you get like 40,000 drachme, you get 1,000 wood, 1,000 iron, something like that. So if you just dismantle like 100 weapons, you get 100,000 materials on level 99. That's why we have so much materials and you see that in my videos I have like 3 million and that's just because I dismantled 3000 weapons. It's not that much if you play like 2000 hours, you can dismantle like a couple of thousand items and then you get a couple of million resources because on max level you get just so, ma so much. So the idea is to level up because the faster you level up, the more money, the more materials you will get. If you cannot afford something, you are not meant to get it yet. You just have to wait for a later level and then go and upgrade it. Especially your ship. I don't upgrade my ship at all before I reach level 70. The only thing I upgrade is the hull. Because then I can place some lieutenants. 
You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Duris. And everything else in your ship can just be upgraded after level 70. Then it is so easy to upgrade it because it will be so cheap for you. At the beginning it is just so expensive, so don't waste your resources for upgrading your ship, for example. And don't upgrade your weapons like every level, it's not needed. Definitely. And especially your armor. Only upgrade your armor like every 20 levels. Upgrade your weapons like every 5 levels and that's completely fine. And of course, if you don't use legendary items, if you use epic items, it's even cheaper to upgrade them. So you can save a lot of stuff. Just don't upgrade everything so often. And at the end of the game, once you reach a point after level 50 or um, more likely beyond level 70, you will just get so much resources and money that you don't have to care about it anymore. And then you will just... Hey, stop! That's my... I told you. I've paid Marcos enough. All right, all right. I'll pay you. Just stop. Actually, I wanted his sword, but... I picked the wrong decision. You can get a pretty good sword from Durus, and I messed it up, but it doesn't matter. Just don't threaten him, just uh, side with him. Now oh, here's a quest, uh, killing two wolves, I believe. You can also do that, it's always the same. So I have to focus a bit on my gameplay now, not to pick uh, wrong decisions. Okay. So this conversation totally doesn't matter. Uh, I don't like these prologue quests. Now we have to follow her, of course. Get our bow. You got some power converters? What? Okay. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. We have still the debt collector item on top. That's interesting. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those. Of course, once we reach level 15, we will equip the Beacon Bow. Okay. I think we should level up and... Wait a second. We have... Yeah, we have the XP boost on. And that is a temporary money boost here as well, it's not needed. Uh, but we have the permanent XP boost here. That's okay. And we never get this money boost, it's absolutely not needed, it's a total waste. Just, if you consider you get, um... You get like 40,000 drachme when you sell a weapon on level 99. And you feel act you might feel actually dumb to get the money boost if you know that you will get millions of money later on. It's actually not smart to get the money boost. Um... That's a blood fever. So where's our main quest? An eye for an eye. Talk to Marcos. Where the hell is Marcos? Here we go. What's better at level 99? Sell or dismantle? That depends on the weapon. And uh, I would generally sell everything because you get more money from it. And with that money you can actually buy resources from the blacksmith. And since you get a discount for buying stuff from the blacksmith, you can buy them for half the price. So, in fact, if you sell your weapons with the money you get, you can buy the double amount of resources from the blacksmith than the ones you would get when you dismantle your weapon. So the answer is always sell your stuff, at le or un uh, unless you need really urgently some resource, of course, and just dismantle one or two items. But in general, it's always better to sell them 
but at some point you will reach the max money level which is 10 million and then you start dismantling you only can dismantle because you can't have more than 10 million money so sell first and just if you urgently need resources dismantle a bit but in general selling is better because you can buy more resources from the blacksmith and you can also buy wood. If you only need wood, then you can buy wood. You can use all your money, which you get from selling your items, to buy only wood. And not any gems, which you don't need. So this is way smarter. And we're level 2 going into the Cyclops stuff. Okay, we can do that. I probably have to do a couple of quests to get to some higher level here. I think we can do the Blood Fever stuff on our way. There's a wolf, and uh, we need to kill two of them. Wow. Oh, get out of the way, dude. Oh, I have my arrows, actually. I can use arrows, of course. That's way easier. That's why I like arrows so much. So at the beginning, playing with arrows is just so much superior. They will deal so much more damage. Because the base damage uh, you get from arrows is so much higher compared to warrior damage. Um, just want to start this quest because it is on our way. Okay. Trying to be a bit of uh, a bit efficient here. Now the fever quest is this one. Off we go now. I'm not sure if I should play all quests on this island before we move on. I actually plan to make a really good build during the end of the stream. So uh, that means we will have to level up at least to level 15 or maybe level 20 would be better. So we have to get a lot of XP quickly here. And here it is important. But I don't know anything. No. If you intervene, save us from we are nobody. Lame. We have to don't regret. Here you should kill them. I mean you should um let these people be killed. You have blood. So now they killed those uh poor families. Uh, but that is important actually to save Cephalonia because the plague is real and if you if you kill these uh, bandits or the guards uh, then the whole island will be covered in this dust for the rest of the game. So it is the better option here is actually to, to just let them be killed. So this is the Cyclops lair. That's why you never do that quest. Well... Yeah, it's just some XP, you know. It's a sad quest. It's a bad decision. I know. But if you want to go back to Cephalonia, uh, then you don't want to have all this uh, dark dust here the whole time. Because that looks really depressing and I don't like to have this. So I want to have my home island saved from that here. So that we can enjoy it when we come back later. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. I won't hide in the bushes. I will just shoot everyone. So here we can... No other guard can just assassinate this guy. Ok, 
can pretty much continue assassinating these guys. Okay. And we will just kill you. Okay, now we got detected. That's bad. Uh, probably if I had one shot at him, I would have not been detected. So who actually saw me here? Okay, we get two guards. Oh, I don't like poison. Okay. Got you. So if we would just go there and try to kill them with swords, it would take so long. And now we are undetected again, we can continue assassinating. That's what I like at this game. You can just get back into stealth mode pretty quick. If you just kill everyone who saw you, you are immediately back to stealth. And you notice that when, when she is unequipping her weapons, you are back to stealth. It's just so nice. And then you can continue assassinating them. Well, this was an elite. Pretty high level elite, a lot of armor, I don't know. Uh, killed him anyway. Yeah, he was level 4 it seems. We got level 4 brutes, we were only level... Well, we got level 3 now. Um. Wow, <laughs> that was a weird animation we got here always go for headshots and I use the full auto aim mode which means uh, the game will focus on the chest and then you have to just move upwards and you can you can really really learn that to just press your uh, stick a bit upwards and then then you immediately make headshots to everyone it's really nice but the game in general only focuses on the chest not to make it too easy so did we collect this stuff? Um, where's our Cyclops eye? Show the objectives. Return to Marcus. Yeah, I think we got it already. Uh, but there's a chest. There was a chest somewhere. Well, Chrissy Rock, thank you for the 20 euros. Awesome. <laughs> Where is that stupid chest? I know it's in one room here. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you for your good videos and your support. Well, thank you for your support, Chrissy. Hope you will enjoy Cyberpunk later today. If you need any tips, you can of course also ask me. Some 500 hours experience in Cyberpunk. Okay, we got this location. And yeah, there's a shark quest. We have to collect something here in that, no, in that bay, actually. Um, we can just go there, go this way, and then do all the stuff that is connected here, and then back to Marcos. I think that's a quick way not to miss one of those quests. Oh, come on, Phobos. Where have you been? <coughs> so that's just a quest where you have to collect something, it's pretty easy XP. Nothing scares me. We can just shoot the sharks with our arrows, so it's really easy. Just swim, use your arrows, shoot them, and then you don't have to worry about them anymore. That's what I do, I just swim and then use my arrows and kill the sharks before I dive. It's so, so easy. Uh, the Valhalla DLC is worth it. Uh, I played the Druids one completely with, I think, all achievements. That was kind of okay. Uh, Paris totally annoyed me. Because of the setting, because of all the rats, and I didn't continue it. 
And then the new one is not out yet, I believe. I mean, there were some whatever tombs or I don't know. I didn't get anything after Paris because Paris annoyed me so much. Sammy, I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. Um. Oh, actually, we got the wrong way. So we killed the two wolves here. We got some money for that. I didn't want to go that way actually. Um, I want to do the Drusilla quest here actually. That is what I wanted to do. And then go back to Marcos. Off we go now. So Phobos you disappointed me. You guided me in the wrong direction. After playing this, Valhalla feels clunky. Yeah, that's so true. Because the combat in Valhalla is so, yeah, clunky. It's it's just the word that fits best. Valhalla is more like button mashing light attacks because Valhalla has stamina and it eliminates a lot of a lot of the versatile combat we have here. And also Valhalla has shields. Yeah, shields make combat slower. I mean, a lot of people like shields, but in fact, they make combat slower. They make you uh, to focus on one enemy just to beat him, um, like using your focus, which I don't use. So where are those other hints? Did I miss something? The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. Will you stream the new Ragnarok? Mm, don't think so. Shot in the back while fleeing. It must be the work of bandits. I didn't even continue streaming uh, uh, Siege of Paris because I was so frustrated by the rats who continuously killed me when I wanted to just open a single chest. After been diving for like two minutes, I reached a room and there was a chest. I wanted to open it. There were a lot of rats and I almost broke my controller, which is an elite controller. Uh, so it's quite an expensive one. And I smacked him so hard on my desk <laughs> because I got like killed like three times by those rats. And I lost one of those sticks and I found it later, one hour later, under my uh, furniture. I got distracted by those quest markers. That must be the camp I'm getting distracted by the finished quest marker from markers. Kill the bandits. You hate those rats. Yeah, I think everybody hates them. It's like making these uh, barred doors even more frustrating by adding rats behind barred doors or behind something where you... Uh, I don't know. I better not talk about Valhalla anymore. It's like it's. I just get angry when I think about that game. That's why we play Odyssey here. Probably running out of arrows pretty quick now. Uh, well, why is everybody after me now? I wanted to kill you, I wanted to assassinate you. Oh, that's a miss. Wanted to assassinate you guys. So here we get the chest. Small chest. Like one iron. I think when you loot guards or enemies at level 99 you get like 50 each. Something like that. Definitely a lot more. And hundreds or even thousands of um, of materials or money. Like when you kill a mercenary, I think you get ten thousand, or a polo mark, you get ten thousand drachme for that on level ninety-nine, just to give you an impression how much it is. It just scales exponentially. So there's one more chest. Kind of missed the chest. Are you serious? 
Where did I get it already? Oh, here. We got this one. Yeah. And yeah, we got the lumbering along. So we can report to Drozilla and to Marcos now. And oh, yeah, there is Telos the Stone Fist here. Uh, I'm not sure if we can kill him already. I mean, we can kill him if we want to, but it will not look too easy at level 4. Maybe at level 6 we can one or two shot him with two assassinations. Okay, that deals like no damage because melee is like so weak at the beginning. We just... Hopefully we get out of combat so that we can finish the quest. We will take care of him later. And out of combat, thank you. We just get more XP. And almost level 5, okay. We can also do this quest to get some spare out of the cave, I believe. Praise have been answered. I'm your god. I will find it. Okay, thank you. Um, so that's, I believe, a quest where you should go into that cave. Footsteps of the gods. Find the necklace in the sunken temple. No, oh, that's different. Fight Taylor's, yeah, that's also a quest shark. Uh, oh yeah, the necklace is here. So we can go there. I'm thinking about just finishing every quest on that island and then moving on to get the stuff on Corfu and then focus Mega Rees and just trying to make this build as strong as possible before we reach Mega Rees because last time we had a lot of trouble doing the conquest battle I remember and we had to go and get the Fox of Olympus engraving so I want to avoid uh, going overseas before I uh, actually want to do that. So we probably get the core for DLC engraving and we don't need to have the facts of Olympus then. So where do we have this? Not sure if we got everything. Oh, the spare is not in that. Okay, it's probably that was the wrong location. Oh, I'm so dumb. I just uh, was diving in the wrong spot. Ah, I'm so stupid. It was. I was thinking about. Okay, it it was this one here, but I was just going this one. Uh, there's also an Ostracker here. Anyway. So we will go to the other cave also. I'm sorry I'm just jumping back and forth between the quests here but I don't want to go to the other side of the island if there's another quest marker here. So we can just do everything with the shortest route in between. So we're level 4, that should be enough to kill those guards here. Someone dropped coverings here. Looks like they were trying to carry them away behind the statue. Hmm. 
So now we can get through here. Can you even do a speedrun on this game? Yes, uh, you can do a speedrun and I believe the world record is 2 hours and 32 minutes or something. As there is... Oh. No, oh shit, we missed the assassination window. Um, the speedruns use some tricks to skip uh, part of the quests, especially in Arcadia. And they use rock launch. A uh, rock launch is a mechanic that is shown in the uh, working glitches video. Oh shit. Damn. Just detected when I wanted to assassinate them. That was a terrible thing. I don't want to crouch. Please stand up. Have we even been hit a single time already? Yeah, now we got hit. Jesus Christ, I don't know what's behind me because of that stupid camera. So, please. Killed, killed you, and... And you as well, so. What did I want to say? What was the question? Yeah, you can speedrun this by using rock launch pretty excessively. This is just speeding you up, pushing you through the air and eliminates any any long travel, any naval travel. You don't have to do any naval travel, you don't have to do any long rides. Uh, just brings you from location to location. So it makes it really quick. There's actually some treasure here. Can loot a chest, so where's the chest? If you don't know rock launch, I can maybe show it to you. Um, but I'm really not a rock launch expert. It's not so easy to do. I can only do it in some specific uh, locations, not everywhere. It actually requires you to have a specific setup, a specific stone, which is some, which has some really sharp edge, and you can actually glitch into the edge and then the game pushes pushes you forward with lightning speed and the more frames your system can handle the faster you get pushed so if you have 60 fps you can pretty much eliminate any fast travel all i can offer you is devotion but i need your help i'm poor i have four hungry children and nothing else i wait baskets for the market but my okay your baskets oh, I, I Hear your prayer. You can help her as well. Not sure if we get additional XP for helping her. In caves, Cassandra or our character is running slower and I don't like that. Even rolling is faster, I believe. So, solved your riddle. The riddle were some bandits. Um, merciful gods. We'll just clean up this part of the island before we go to Marcos again. Still level 4. And we have to put something here. Looks like these new baskets were off to market until the cart broke. <laughs> the funny thing is I can steal something here. Just like she said. But I have to give her something, but you can still steal her money. That's the funny part. This should help. Better them than the bandits. So we've got something there, complete this quest. Oh, by the way, if you wonder, uh, we don't have the celebrations on, I believe. Um, so hot. So you don't see... What? 
No. Options. What is level scan in gameplay? It's already. I didn't change anything here. I just want to change the HUD. Celebrations on gives you the pop up for having a quest uh, completed. I don't have to reload this game. It is already maximum. We have nightmare and heavy level scaling. And now we get our pop up. So now we have level 5 and any quest is now showing up. Normally that is, that is very annoying for me, especially if you kill so many mercenaries. And you get like 4 mercenaries in a row killed and you just get these pop ups, celebration after celebration. If you kill like 8000 mercenaries like me, it's like, oh my god, get rid of these celebrations please. But if you level up or if you continue or complete a lot of quests, it is helpful to get or to, to track those quests which you have completed or just to be aware that you just leveled up. I normally you don't even see that you'll have leveled ups if you don't get the celebration. Um, so I will try not to drown here. Um, or actually we don't have to swim. What you think about old AC games? Um, to be honest, I played the first Assassin's Creed, really liked it. And back in the days, it was a really good game. I am not sure if the old games actually will hold anything against uh, the newer ones because standards have been improved, standards of games have changed. So old games are old, classics, and that's fine. I don't think they are better, if you want to know that. Because old games tend to have old mechanics and if you move on a couple of years, you will just realize, okay, those games are old. They were fun when we played them the first time, but yeah, some of these things getting old. The game industry evolves, finding new, better ways to uh, handle stuff. Oh no. Not again. I need to get 6 cents because 6 cents gives me way more time to actually react. Can we get 6 cents? I think so. Our abilities, yes. At least the first level. Slows down time for 5 seconds. Um, healing. Healing is important. Oh, we have level 1 only. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, Shadow Assassin. Don't want to spend everything right now. Cannot increase that one. Um, this is locked. Okay. Not sure if I go for Weapons Master. I cannot increase this one. Weapons Master or more Assassin damage. I am pretty much undecided. I think we will go for Assassin damage first. It's more important because Warrior is so weak at the beginning. When you start this game and you see me playing now, you will probably realize that arrows are so insanely strong. You can easily get rid of your enemies by using arrows at the beginning. And this is nightmare. Don't forget this is nightmare. So cannot get harder than this. And it doesn't really look hard, I believe. So now the problem is we have to get out of this cave again. And I would usually fast travel. I forgot to activate the fast travel point. So we have to dive again. So we should activate the fast travel point to get out of caves or something. We don't want to do again. And there comes Talos, waiting to be assassinated. Oh, if we get a remaster of the first AC game, it would be awesome. 
But I'm actually not sure if I would like the mechanics. I liked this game, but I liked it when I was like 15 years younger or so. And maybe my taste has also changed a bit because I've played so many new games. They may have to improve some mechanics in, in the first AC games just to make it more modern, I believe. So there we have Talos. And we're level 5, so we can give it a try. Uh, do we have any weapons? Oh yeah, we have some nice boots. Um, can't use them. Yes, the difference here is the Northern Traveler's boots is a legendary item and they start with pretty high values. They start with 7% warrior damage at level 1. And here you get only 4% and they are level 4, so that's a big difference. They need a couple of levels actually to pick up to be uh, to have the same values. That's 6 armor, it's even 10 armor. The armor doesn't matter, but here are a lot of better stats on these items. Uh, they will be relevant at least until you hit level 10 or so, before those other items get better stats. But we will use the weak items. Because it's too easy otherwise. Oh, here we have assassin damage. That's nice. Um, no helmet yet. Oh, we have a nice level 4 bow. That increases our hunter damage so much. Look at that, guys. Um, well, actually... Okay, actually only run 20. But, nevertheless. Uh, do we don't have critical assassination, right? We could have probably... No, we have rush assassination. So now it's really key that he doesn't see us. Try to assassinate him. We are the same level, so we don't have a level penalty on our damage anymore, which is good. Oh, it doesn't deal too much damage. Can we kill him with arrows now? Don't crouch! Stupid Cassandra. Um. I think we should have waited until we hit like level 7 or so. Oh no, we are out of wood, that means? No. We can craft some arrows. I think we can craft enough arrows just to kill him. Um, normally you should wait like if, if you are one or two levels higher. We will toggle autocraft for this one. So hopefully 17 arrows will be enough. Yeah, pretty much looks like it. Of course if you equip the Zeus weapon here on him he will be much easier but I mean he's easy anyway. And this is nightmare so... If you're level 7, he will like almost die from the assassination. And then you just have to shoot one or two arrows if you're level 7. So this was pretty easy. And that's the footsteps of the gods. Oh, Jesus Christ, got stuck there. Cassandra, have you come back to talk about the spear? I have. Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? Um, oh. talk about the reward. Another 2000 XP. Um, I think we have done everything here now. So we'll go to the fast drill point and go to Marcos. Hit level 6.
You need wood for the ship. Why? You don't have to upgrade your ship. Actually, I don't even upgrade anything. If you like sink one or two ships, you will like get like 100, 200 wood easily when you leave Catalonia. I might actually have to buy a little wood because I used now so many arrows uh, on Talos. So we might run out of arrows when we go to that uh, pirate hideout and get to Barnabas. I just have to make sure that we have enough arrows for that. I just switch to uh, Warrior later in the game usually when Warrior becomes relevant. At the beginning it is not so relevant. You can assassinate almost everyone pretty easy because most of your assassin damage just comes from your base damage, not from your gear at the beginning at least. And Hunter is also having a huge amount of base damage. Just Warrior is having so little for some reason. For example, uh, when you are level 99, the assassin base damage is, I think, 127,000. That's a lot. It's over 100,000 of your damage from level 99 is only base damage. And your warrior base damage is only 2,000. And your hunter base damage is, I think, 7,000. But that's the levels for level 99. So if you had, like, uh, three times or three and a half times the base damage for warrior... That would, that would greatly improve Warrior at the beginning, but it might have been too strong in late game. Who needs fall damage anyway? <laughs> Zeus is angry now. <laughs> we touched his butt. So, Marcos. I, but you know how all this. Oh. Right, the thick, but the thick. Okay, 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 Marcos. I'll go. Let's go. And we got that quest. I can collect the Ostraka, but it doesn't matter. Um. Okay, that's that's not the quest we want to do. That's the necklace quest. I know where that is. Um, the newcomers. Okay, so the newcomers are here. Yeah, we will do that. We can also collect uh, the Ostraka. It's lying somewhere here. I don't know where is it. Marcos, where are you hiding the Ostraka? Jesus Christ. I think it's... Oh, maybe it's in the attic of this uh, building, I believe. Yeah, I remember now. Oh, we got level 6 Torox. That's good. Some better items. Level 6. And we have... Oh, we found this one. Oh, mercenary belt. Oh, yeah. Talos dropped that. That's nice. Um, no, that's from a starter pack. We can use these boots. Uh, and more. Let's see. Which one's actually better? Oh, we got Aziz as well. Mercenary gloves. Um, oh, yeah. For sure. We will use them. Um, I don't want to use the, the club items, okay? I don't want to use that legendary stuff which you get at the beginning. Just makes it too easy. Um, I don't want to use spares. Did we get a better sword? Wow. The arcane sword. I think that's a fixed drop or something. I remember I always get this one. Oh no! Oh yeah, that okay. That that is an item which you get, uh, I think, from the club. Uh, but I will I will use that. It's just a blue one. It's okay. 
because it has damage swords. Yeah, it's almost as good as this one because it has damage of swords on it. Here we can finally use one of those. Hunter damage is always good. I just don't want to use the sets or legendary weapons. Okay, get this one. So we got a location complete just for a little amount of XP here. It's not that much. Uh, now we get the new Kama's quest. Fancy guests. Yeah, that's it. So one hour on Kefalonia. Still, still on Kefalonia actually. Um, but we are level 6, which is quite good. So I think we are in good pace here to have some good build at the end of the stream. Yeah, now we don't need the, s the horse anyway anymore. But Okay, for the last 100 meters, come on, Phobos. Well, a bit faster, Phobos. Anyway. just have to remember myself don't storm into it like new game plus we yeah, just go into it and use a ring of chaos and the house explodes and turns into ashes <laughs> it, it is just not a new game plus but it's still not hard how did i catch fire there how the hell did i catch fire there okay that's bad. We should not have assassinated this guy. What's wrong with you, actually? Out of arrows. And now we are out of wood? No, we are out of wood. Okay, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, thank you, dude. Member for eight months. Awesome. Okay, now we are out of wood and we have no contingency plan. Well, the contingency plan is just to get out of combat and assassinate them. Uh, so we have to run, 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 run. Just to get out of combat. Dude, still seeing us. Well, that guy is seeing us. Okay, now we are out of combat. What? <laughs> no! Come on, can't be true. How did he spot us? How the hell did he actually spot us? Okay, we will do melee combat. Okay, that's an archer, he's not... He's not a big threat. And just hits the shit out of him. Okay. Then we do melee, why not? I mean, it just takes a little longer. It's... On Nightmare, it can be a bit dangerous at the beginning of the game. Oh, dude, thank you very much for the 6.99. <laughs> Thank you. Someone else to the field work. I don't suppose you know how to get this stain out. Ah, uh, stay back, Alpinor. You traitor. Oh yeah, actually. Who are you? No. How I just thought about the traitor I'm is Alpino. dead from Demos, but it's not Alpino who got killed. Don't have any. Oh, don't. And 
Now that is bad. We don't want to go there yet. I have to get some wood. I really have to get some wood before I go to the island. You like Alpino in the underworld. I also like him uh, when he is pushed down the cliff. He's pushed, right? Or he's jumping or whatever. Yeah, it's fun. Actually, it's fun to have him in the underworld. I mean, that's where he belongs, definitely. Uh, should we assassinate that guy? Why not? I think there's always this guy standing here, always in front of this blacksmith. And oh yeah, 71. You just buy everything. Thank you. So we solved the wood problem. Jesus, where's my boat actually? It's so far away. When you start a new game plus, actually, it's so fun that he is wanting 100,000 uh, for the big ship, for the address GR, and you could easily afford it, but you can't buy it. <laughs> so, getting on our small ship now. Hades kills him again. Yeah, that's what he deserves. What I like most in the underworld is Testicles. I really like him. Being eaten again by some animals. That is so fun. That's the best scene in the underworld. Any builds with, uh, with stuff that I don't have to buy? Yeah, of course. Um, if you don't count the Bighorn Bow, you can of course get the Bighorn Bow for free with your 200 free Helix credits. Then pretty much every epic build can be made. Just go to the epic builds playlist and you can do them. And if there is one engraving, however, which you don't have, just do something else on it. It doesn't matter. That one engraving won't hurt you if you don't have it. So in general, just do whatever epic build you want. All of them should be, they should be either completely free or only one thing or so missing. Oh no, I have to craft arrows first. I thought it, I had outer craft on, so if I bought the wood, I thought I craft them. Okay, we have to recollect these arrows. No. By the way, we can use one more ability. So can we have some good warrior ability? No, we don't have Ring of Chaos. Okay, that's bad. Um, oh, Rush Assassination, of course. Um, we cannot get level two anyway, but Rush Assassination is good. More assassination damage, Rush Assassination. We got the healing uh, at least. We got six cents. That's pretty much what you want to have at the beginning. Get the healing. You get some assassin stuff here and slow down time whenever spotted is really powerful. Okay, now we have those guys. So heal a bit. You hit the air. It's nothing like hot air what you do. Of course, this looks different on a lower difficulty. If you do that in lower difficulty, you might just use your sword and it goes through like butter. But since those animals here and they, they are scaled to my level now, by the way, I think they would have been like level four, level five, something. And now they are exactly level six or level seven now. That's just because you play Nightmare, everything is scaled immediately. Fight. 
Come on, more XP. I need more XP. I'm only level seven. Okay, let's go. Uh, escort Odessa through the destroyed palace. Okay. And we still have to get the shroud for LP now. I feel like I almost killed everyone. Okay, you are high, high level guy. Um, and I still feel like I deal more than 10% at least on that guy. Okay, we will use arrows on you. Wow! <laughs> Odessa, thank you so much. Like, Odessa killed him almost in, in a one shot. So it was like eliminating two thirds of his health when Odessa hit him. I believe Odessa plays on easy and I have to play on Nightmare. This is it. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was... That made it a lot easier to kill Something that guy. More grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here I might... Okay, you're Odysseus' grand 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 daughter whatever, Not come on. Take me to my boat. Yes. I'll pay you there. Pay me. Come on, pay me. I need uh, one million, a hundred thousand wood, hundred thousand leather, and hundred thousand iron, please. You are Odysseus' granddaughter or whatever, so you can afford it. This is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important? Are you joking? You yeah, and Roman, sir. You're ugly. No. Um. a few other ones I can think of that would suit you. I can't wait to hear them. How about beautiful? But I hope later comes soon. So what do you I think I was in a much poorer mood. Okay, I think we picked the right answer here. I just wanted to do this slow uh, just to be able to romance her. She's giving us more quests in Mega Reese, which could help us level up. Um, in great isn't easy. That answer doesn't matter actually. The answer before was important. Still cannot upgrade this. No, this. We have to get the spare, I think. Uh, and then we can get level 2. So for now, it's not even useful to get this 20% here, but. I could get fire arrows that will completely drain my resources if I get fire arrows now. They are insanely powerful, nonetheless. So if there is a really high level enemy, we will use fire arrows. That will absolutely kill them. They are really powerful in early game, but they cost a lot of resources. Okay, this is... There is more. There is um, another enemy. I will just loot this stuff here quickly. Because we can use it, we can sell it, we can dismantle it, whatever. No, the Bitcoin bow does not get on sale at Zargon. It will be available in gifts, but the chance is uh, less than 1%. Because there are, I think, 180, or now we have even more. I think we, we have now even more with the Tartarus weapons. We have over 180 legendary weapons. And there are 200 other epic weapons. Th the chance is just way below 1%. Not even half a percent that you will get as uh, a Bighorn Bow. Yeah, that looked nice, right? We're getting a bit more confident here now at level 7.
So now we got we have to get this uh Ostraka. I think it was here somewhere. Or here? Yeah. On the highest place. You can use your 200 free helix credits to get the Bitcoin bow. That is what everybody usually does and <laughs> I just mention it in every build like get it with your free 200 credits. I think you get these credits after the prologue. So either after Kefalonia or after beating Mega Reese, then you get these 200 uh, helix credits and you can buy the Bitcoin bow. The Bitcoin will cost 150 or so or even 75 if it's on sale. And it's simply the best item in the game. So don't get anything else, just get this item first. Because it's much better than getting any legendary set, any other legendary item. Just get this blue bow. After Mega Reese, okay, yeah. I was always wondering why I didn't get it uh, last time. Uh, there is a boat. And how far are we to level 8? Okay, halfway through to level 8. I think we did every quest so far, except for that shark stuff. What's so special? Yeah, it's glitched. It basically doubles your warrior damage. When you equip the beacon bow, it adds the DPS of the bow to the DPS of your weapon. Uh, I don't know if we will do that in this stream. When we reach level 15, I will get it. Um, so if we have 55 DPS and 63 DPS here on the arcane sword, it will add the 52, uh, 55 to the 63. That's what the beacon bow does. But it only does this for the left weapon. So we have to unlock our left weapon first. And then we add our bow's DPS from the beacon bow to our left weapon. So basically doubling the DPS uh, from our weapon. That is the crazy thing what the beacon bow does. And when you shoot arrows, it will also use your warrior damage. So, and your warrior damage uh, later in the game is much higher than your hunter damage. So that will also greatly increase your uh, arrows, your arrow damage. Because hunter damage can barely even reach 80,000 or yeah, maybe with the new Corfu stuff you can actually reach 100,000. But your warrior damage can reach 200 or 300,000. And you can use that when you shoot arrows. It's automatically done when you have the melee weapon equipped, which has the higher damage, then your bow damage and your sword damage is like getting meddled into each other and you use the new warrior damage for everything, for your arrows and for your melee weapon. General, I ex of course, I you what? That is why it is so good. It basically combines your damage to deal double damage for hunter and for warrior. It's so crazy. It's the single best weapon in the game. Uh, we have 35 wood. And we have 15 arrows. Hmm. I will just I buy a bit more wood. I should go see the ship building. Oh, where's the blacksmith? Come on. So we leveled up and he should have more wood for us. No! I mean we have leveled up once at least, I believe. I thought he had new wood for us. Okay, anyway, we should have enough. I just wanted to make sure because of all the pirates. Let's go. 
Now let's go and get Barnabas. Um, or maybe get this shark thing first. Yeah, let's go to the fast travel point, then we do the shark stuff, and then we free Barnabas. I only have the XP boost on, because I purchased it on this account. I could have deactivated it, but it is really handy to have that XP boost. I don't need the Drachme boost at all. I never purchased it. You have so much money in this game. XP is okay. So get the XP boost if you want. It feels actually better if you level up a bit faster with the XP boost. But the money boost is definitely not needed, so don't waste your money on the money boost. If you get everything with your free credits, get the beacon bow, definitely. That's the only important thing. And everything else is up to you. You don't need any legendary set. You can just use epic items. Epic items are much stronger. Okay. I need to have 6 cents level 2 or so. I don't have enough time to get detected and assassinate them. I don't want to waste my arrows here. I hate this guy shooting arrows from from behind, from the back. So I don't even have to. I don't have to doubt uh, to dodge the uh, melee guy. I also have to dodge the arrows additionally, which in which is annoying. Um, I wanted to get the fast drill point first. I think I have to climb here. Don't know. Maybe there's a road, but we'll just climb. Best armor set is the Olympic Bikini, uh, that is the bare chested and oiled. <laughs> it has 500% damage when covered in black oil, right? So yeah, basically that is not too far from the truth. Because we need that when we get the record. Yeah, the best legendary set is the Nemean Lion set, hands down, because it has the highest crit damage and crit chance from all builds, uh, from all sets, I mean. So if you want to get an easy set for, yeah, an easy low level build, where you don't have to grind for epic items, then get the Nemean Lion set, because there are so many crit damage and crit chance engravings on it, you can actually wear this set the whole time until you reach level 99, if you want. You don't have to get any other sets in the main line set. But at some point you might want to play with epic items instead, because they have one more engraving on your armor. And having one more stat, that could be like 100% crit damage on every or almost every gear piece, could give you another 300-400 crit damage easily if you wear epic items instead of legendary items. Those set bonuses on the legendary sets are mostly weak. Even if they give you like 50% damage with assassin abilities or 100% damage with assassin abilities, uh, it just adds 100% base damage. If you have uh, an epic set or epic items with couple of hundred, couple of hundred more crit damage, it easily wins. Epic items always win. They're just so much better. Those five additional stats are so much better. They outweigh any set bonus you have by far. Normally, the legendary set bonus is as strong as one other engraving. So it's pretty weak, actually, and you get 5 additional engravings for epic items. So you basically get 5 times the set bonus. Just uh, having to, to give you a comparison for that. 
Of course, you don't get five times a set bonus. You get some different engravings like crit damage and whatever, but it is basically like that. That's why epic items are just the better ones. Is down there. So where are the sharks? Sharks are sleeping today? No. Only one? I think we have three normally. Should have three sharks. Dude, I have to make a headshot. Yeah. Um. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Let's try to make a headshot on the shark. No. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, whatever, dude. Wasted so many arrows again. Maybe we can pick up the arrows from the shark? I don't know. No, we didn't get arrows. We didn't get the arrows. That's bad. But maybe we can collect a couple of uh, olive trees. When we bring the necklace back to his owner. Yeah, you can use these legendary engravings uh, from the set bonus. So you get, you get uh, when you get a legendary set, of course, you unlock the set bonus as an engraving. But it is usually uh, a bit weaker than the effect from the set bonus. So, for example, if you get the Nemean Lion set, the set bonus is 10% crit chance and plus 50% crit damage. And when you engrave this set bonus, it will only have 5% crit chance and 25% crit damage. And similar if you have the 100% uh, immunity to fire, that is a really nice set bonus by the way, from the Heracles set, 100% immunity to fire, uh, you will only get 40% uh, immunity to fire as an engraving. And similar for uh, the poison stuff, there's also a set that gives you 100% immunity versus poison. And I think we'll just fast travel. And you only get 40% for the engraving. So it is usually around half the effect from the set bonus. Um, but still definitely worse to use. Only some of them actually. So I think the enemy in line engraving is often used in builds ooh, wh where we get a 95% crit chance. And... Yeah, which ones do I use? I think I have used the 40% uh, fire resistance in the Roman Centurio build. That was a set bonus from the Heracles set. And not much else from the shop, I think. Uh, from the shop, in some of the builds, there are unique items from the Sphinx set, which give you 20% crit chance on the belt. The belt of the Sphinx, that is a unique item. And it comes with the Sphinx set. So that is used in some builds, but you can replace it with the main line set uh, engraving. Or you can simply place or engrave it anywhere else, your crit you chance. You can get the copycat sword instead. No <laughs> so you don't really use any, uh, you don't really need any of the sets. Level 8. Oh no. What what did the game tell me now? Didn't even sh didn't even read it. Okay, now we can do the Barnabas stuff. So I think in all of my builds I only use the Nemean line set engraving or the belt of the swings. No or the 40% fire resistance. No other engravings from any other set. And I think I made around 50 builds or so and never used anything else. It's just not worth it. Those other set bonuses are just not worth it.
We have some good set bonuses actually uh, unlocked from the DLC. The Izu Enhance, I think that's also a set bonus from the Decaster set, but it comes with the Atlantis DLC. So it, it's basically not a single set, it comes with Atlantis. Oh, that were a lot of... I thought he's dead. There were a lot of arrows. Now we should have assassinated a couple of them first. I don't have devastating shot. I really want to have devastating shot. Yes. Let's go, baby. Nice village. But now it's just a nice Why did I not grab this earlier? I'm so dumb. I should have used it. So how much damage do we deal now with devastating shot? Um now it's 290%. Oh my god. Yeah, I should have definitely grabbed this one earlier. It will greatly reduce the amount of arrows we need for these for these guys. Okay. You need more arrows. How many wood do I have? 28 wood is enough for... No, don't craft these. 31 arrows left. So now we are out of combat. Oh shit. Wanted... <sighs> Dudes. Okay, you will just get killed. Okay, like one, two, okay, give me the adrenaline and then you're dead. One, two, three. What? You didn't get killed by that. Um, 16 arrows. We should use more melee. Okay, now melee is getting weak. So I see your problem, which you have at the beginning, clearly. Uh, but I solved this problem of weak melee just by using range, which is just so much stronger. One thousand damage, like, and now another devastating shot, and he's dead. It's actually not hard. This game is not hard even on Nightmare. You can start on Nightmare and you will not have any problems. At least if you have played this a bit before maybe. Then you can simply restart on Nightmare. So... I mean it's, it's just efficiency what you do here. To use your range attacks because your range attacks are the strongest. Of course you can also assassinate everyone. Uh, but I don't like to sneak around. I just like to go in, kill everyone. And that's what I do. And you can still do that. Even at the beginning. Now we finally managed to assassinate someone. The problem is you are so used uh, to your abilities. Um, especially Stealth Master. This is reducing your noise. And I'm used to just run towards my enemies because I have Stealth Master and my noises from running are reduced. So they don't detect me usually at a higher level. And also this uh, Sixth Sense is just helping me to, to have the time slowed down. So I have enough of time to assassinate my enemies even when they detect me. And those two things, the Stealth Master and the Sixth Sense is making the game or when you try to assassinate people a lot easier. At the beginning you really have to hide and sneak around because otherwise they detect you and you can't do anything anymore. But if you have Stealth Master, they don't hear you so quickly. And with Sixth Sense you can still assassinate them for like 8 seconds. Like, oh, I got detected. Wait. Assassinate this guy, you know? No problem.
So where's Barnabas? So we killed everybody else. Which is okay. So we will not run into much trouble here. Everyone else is already dead. Uh, there's some chest somewhere. Here's an enemy we can assassinate. He's sleeping. And there's another chest here. What is that? Have I ever been to that house? So the noise reduction, especially when you jump, is really um, it's really needed. With the noise reduction from Stealth Master, you could have just normally run and just kill him. He would not have hurt you. <laughs> what? what difference does it make? <laughs> what difference does it make? You're a cyclops. <laughs> he even looks like one. All of them. I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one Actually, I just realized I have the same haircut as the cyclops. <laughs> no one on this island is allowed to say that word. Did she say cyclops? Did he hurt your feelings? <laughs> Don't like it when people call me that. Um, oh, I didn't. I but you're so fat. I mean, big and strong. And you really do only have one eye. <laughs> oh, Give it to me. Give it to me and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it. Give it to me! Well, I thought for a second if there was an option to let him kill Marcos when I first played this game. That would have been fun. It would have been a great roleplay moment if you didn't like Marcos to get him kill him. But this is just even greater. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have to use... Oh no, I missed a devastating shot. That's so unfortunate. Four more arrows. It's not good. Oh shit. Shit. Um, I have very few arrows. So I have to do something else. Maybe we find some arrows. Zero wood. Of course that, that problem will almost never exist again once we leave this island. Then we cleave some ships and we have enough wood and just buy wood or whatever. Three arrows. Well that's enough to kill the small guy. Um, we have to take care of the big one. Where are they? There's the one, there's the other guy. So let's assassinate the first one, the small one, and then we can use two or three devastating shots on the big guy. Oh well, that didn't end good. Immediately detected. Oh, I hate you arrows. No! Get out of there please. Almost decent here. Okay. I don't like this. I would have killed them already if I had more arrows. Jesus, I want to climb. Okay, here's here's a ladder. I don't want to waste my precious arrows. And he's shooting at me. I hate this guy. Can we just get rid of the archer, please? Okay. And now let's deal with him. Okay, come on. Hold still. No. Oh, oh, we got a headshot. That was 1000 something. Uh, oh, we got one arrow back. We got one of our arrows back. Okay, now we could theoretically equip the Zeus weapon. Uh, now we have enough for another devastating shot. Jesus Christ, how has he seen? 
Wow, he hit me. He has really a lot of health. Or did I kill him last time? He's not even a threat. I mean, you can just roll and run away. I'm just thinking about how can I kill this guy. Um, I mean, I could Sparta kick him off the roof, maybe. Uh, but I need adrenaline for that. And in order to get adrenaline, I either have to get out of combat. That is actually the best way. We just have to get out of combat. That will refill our health and our adrenaline at the same time. So, health refill. And we will also... No, we won't get our first adrenaline bar. We don't have... Um, we don't have that ability yet, which is here, Archery Master. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's unlocked at level 10. Um, we can quickly collect some wood, I guess. Could use this use weapon, yeah, maybe. But I don't want to use it. This weapon would still require you to make a lot of hits. So we need some tree. Olive tree, olive tree. <laughs> so unfortunate, the wood issue. That's why I, why I wanted to collect more wood at the beginning. There. No, I just want to get a little amount of wood here. Come on, Phobos, don't run away, don't jump the cliff. I just need to get more wood to kill this guy. Here we go at the tree. Four. Well, let's get another one maybe. Just one more. Don't want to kill the wolves. I want only wood now. It's only what I want. Jesus, where is wood? Just need some wood, guys. I have the feeling that those olive trees are actually so scarcely placed on Kefalonia compared to any other place in this game. Now we can just explore this uh, house. Can't remember I've ever been here. I mean I must have been here once because I did all locations at least once but Oh no. Oh, we should get Sparta Kick actually. I don't want to waste my arrows, that's the problem. If I had more arrows, I would just kill everyone. That's just a stupid chest. Another quest we will also do. But Jesus Christ, is there any stupid olive tree? Okay. We'll stick to the four arrows then. Or we could just maybe exploit Barnabas the same way we exploited uh, Odessa. Where's Barnabas? Here. Did he actually get back to full health or what? I hope not. I think we will just exploit Barnabas now. Kill him Barnabas! Yeah, that's the way how you do it. And he's killing him, he's just killing him. Thank you Barnabas. 
I think that was meant to be done this way because he's almost impossible to kill otherwise. I actually want to do the other quest as well. Um, Jesus Christ. There's a cage. Free captives. Okay, we can do that. But there's another quest. Um, so maybe we can hit level 9 when we are done with this island. That would be cool actually. Because the plan is actually to hit like level 20 today. I don't know if I can reach this. My What's the problem? It's my brother. Your brother, your brother. Okay, I will do it. Yeah, I freed you. Your brother sent me. Oh, I knew he'd rescue me. Oh, how quickly he found himself a lucky. I just want your XP, not your money, dude. Come on. And if it wasn't for your brother's money, I'd gladly feed you to the pigs. Now, let's go. Let's go. Stay close and shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Okay, um, got a bandit braces, 3000, it's getting more, it's also increased per level. Wow, we have a zip line here, never used it. Okay, Barnabas, I'm back, let's go. Every time I jump my health get reduced because when you start the game your health getting reduced until you reach level 20. Um, that is something you might have forgotten that existed in this game. Fall damage. At some point you will get another of those uh, things here at the bottom which reduces your fall damage. Here next upgrade. Falling does not cause damage, requires level 20. You might have forgotten this existed in this game. Yeah, you can do a leap of faith if you are in the air. You can press your heavy attack, do a leap of faith. I know that. I can't thank you enough. After spending oh, it will reduce fall seen. damage? What? Are you I sure? Uh, I actually never use it. I use it a lot in Origins. Then you can just I roll or whatever. I used this in, roll in Origins. Well, but it was pretty important in Origins. Oh. But here you will heal instantly anyway. Oh, we get wood. <clears throat> I need more wood. Oh, more wood. So precious wood. Anyway, we have now our ship and we will get a lot, so doesn't matter anymore. If life t I would have liked to, to have got more wood before. Um, some unlooted chests. I can't even see straight there, so I won't dive there. Maybe I have to play on my TV with some better contrast or so, then I can easily loot that. But during stream I just realized it's a bit darker and a little bit harder to see stuff when you are in such underwater places. Um, well, of course we don't 
want to do the question marks and we've done most of the important locations here of course you can do the question marks if you if you start the game then you might end up with level 9 or something okay here we go and At which point can we actually travel to Corfu? I don't see the Corfu quest yet, so we might have to play a bit more. Um, definitely want to go there, grab the champion Ostraka. So before I do that, I will just quickly go to the toilet for just 30 seconds, guys. So how many hundred viewers did we lost? Um, oh yeah, did you realize I, my controller is kind of moving forward at some point? Uh, the dead zone of the stick is not the best anymore. If I just leave the controller here, it pushes forward and Cassandra starts moving like there's a ghost steering it. It gets pretty annoying when you are in the menu and then your cursor moves upwards if you just want to show something and then you switch. So maybe you have to get a better controller or just adjust the dead zone a bit. Let's hack markers. Let's go. You are still so here. What That's good. Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Cassandra want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him what? the Wolf. Rolling and ending Wolf. up with more health than you otherwise would. Sparta dead? Are you sure? Sparta. How is she walking? Oh yeah, you realized that. It actually happened. <laughs> How is she walking? That's my controller. The child must... Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? Because Elpino told me. <laughs> the wolf of Sparta is my father. Oh, you have that issue with viewers drifting left. Oh, left is actually mean. I mean, left and right is important. I don't care if it's like pushing a little bit up. Well, left and right, I would would be totally annoying. Will you kill Nikolaus? No. Uh, we just want to get the best ending, of course. We'll get the sword and his equipment anyway. So we spare him. It will also help us in chapter 7 later. Okay, take command. And let's let's quickly check this. Still no Corfu. So when is Corfu actually unlocked? After Megaris? Before Megaris? Anyone knows that? <laughs> yeah. 
he thought my game was haunted. <laughs> yeah, it's not me playing the whole time, right? <laughs> it's the controller plays itself. After Mega Reese you can do this. That's actually bad because I wanted to get this engraving from Corfu um, to have an easier battle in Mega Reese. So that means we have to get the Fox engraving again. Which is kind of stupid. I wanted to avoid that and rather get the other one. Wow. Almost killed it instantly here. Now two levels difference mean, means a lot for sheep battles it looks like. Okay, just let me command your ship, dude. And level 9, that's great. Um. Oh yeah, that's the stupid island here, right? We have to do that island. You're also starting from scratch, that's great. This game is always worth to be replayed. And if you're getting used to all the stuff you have on high level, you actually don't realize how hard it was at the beginning, but actually it's not hard. You can become really overpowered pretty quick if you just get a decent level and get the right gear, which we will. That's my target. I'm the best I play ACO 2022. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, recruit? No, recruit. Go to port. A man named Varnavas is hiring sailors for my crew. Last time I forgot to recruit this guy. That was so bad. I had to sail back because uh, I think the next quest was not triggered if you don't recruit him. That was so bad. Um, we have seven wood only. Okay, okay. I need more wood. Did I not collect the wood from the ship? Did I not collect the wood from the ship? Hey. Now we got you. Shit, we should have used rush assassination actually, it's much better. Why do I not use rush assassination? What? Okay. Uh, then we use devast devastating shot. What? Are you serious? Stop pushing me, dude! Even though this sword has good stats, I don't like the movement of sickle swords. Rather want to use a different one. Uh, well, we have a dagger, but dagger sucks so much. Maybe we will buy another sword from the blacksmith or so. Oh no, definitely no spare, come on. Axes are fun, axes are good. Um, actually it doesn't matter, that three points don't matter. We have better animations, movement for the sword. Shroud of Penelope. Um, As long as we don't have the big one though, we can use assassin or we can even use hunter damage. So this one is definitely better for the crit damage, but when do we actually crit? We, n we don't crit. Um, 4% assassin, this is 5%. So it's, it's level 8, so my armor level doesn't matter. I will just go for the ones which have uh, more bonuses. 
Um, that is 4% hunter damage. Well, those are not worth it. I would rather go for the hunter damage. Uh, yeah, we we leave it like that. We could upgrade our bow. That is giving us 26 more. Yeah, definitely doing that. I mean, assassin damage minus 21. Who cares if you have 3,000? But 26 hunter is important. There was a chest somewhere. Let's check out these. I don't think they are better, but um, yeah, 4% and we have 5% here still just because of the rare item. Okay, let's go to Megaris or Raza Focus first. Oh. Wait. Wait. Wait, give me your XP, Barnabas. Good. He'll be a valuable asset to the crew. Will he be enough? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities to recruit more people as we go. Okay. Tells me we're going to meet them. XP. We should set a course for Megaris. Now we get a rough sword. I believe or I remember I get this sword every time from Barnabas from this quest. And this is of course a much better sword. Now it's my level. First, the rowers need a break. I want to sail. <coughs> Hello from Belarus. Oh my god. People from all over the world here. So I usually go here first because I activate the fast travel points and I don't have to travel here again. You use the vacation outfit? Actually, the resort shoulder pads is a really nice item with the um, chance to receive half damage. Those quests or those uh, contracts are predefined here. You get to kill or to, to solve 15 forts, 10 leader houses and stuff. They are like prefabricated contracts here. Uh, the same as on Kefalonia, there's always the same contract for killing two wolves. And after you clear these contracts, then you only get random ones. But the first ones here in Fokis, in Megaris, and in Kefalonia, they are always the same. I think in Megaris, there's the contract to kill those daughters of Artemis, I think, and also some wolves. I remember. Oh yeah, you can fast travel quads as well. But you have to, I think you have to have, you have to be there first. So you can fast travel to the ship dock here and the address here. So we have two, of course, but if you have not been here, like there is no fast travel point. Corinthia should have a fast travel point here. It's not existing. So you have to uncover the land. So you have to at least uncover the land. And actually, so now you mentioned that, um, this might actually help improving the speed run. So the guy who got that two hours, 33 minutes, he had to go on land to unlock that fast travel point here. So all this time, Going here on land, traveling there and unlocking the fast travel point can be saved. And maybe not only this one. Maybe even on more occasions you can save a lot of time. Because you just have to uncover the land maybe. 
So you have to dock and then undock, maybe, just to get the port unlocked. So I just did that, went to that point because I was used to do that. Didn't realize I could maybe just dock the ship to unlock the port. But I think you have to uncover at least this piece of land here. You have to uncover Pilgrim's Landing. So you have to step your foot in here at least once. And then you uncover the ship dock. So, um, here are the chips, uh, ships, ship, ship, ships, wow, big whale, 10 wood, I always need wood. Here we go. I remember last time I used a lot of fire arrows and I was always short on wood, until I reached like level 70 or so. Stop singing, start rowing. <laughs> Stop singing, start rowing. Can change that with the D pad. Change the song and make Barnabas giving commands. That's so cool. I think. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. We should actually be fine, but. I can assign my first lieutenant. I will put EV here. Uh, that will greatly increase our javelin dam. Well, not greatly, but uh, it, it will do something. <laughs> it won't do much actually at low level, but it will do something. So use EV here and yeah, use other lieutenants that give you javelin damage. That is actually the best. three <laughs> percent well you don't get only three percent you get like uh three plus four so you get seven you get seven percent actually get the oars out. that's something Under. it's not much but it's something Let's move. wow they are dead so that's really easy now These ships are literally not existing. I don't even have to take care of anything here. Because we leveled up to level 9 before we got here. I don't even have to be careful at all. I remember last time I had much more trouble. Definitely much more trouble. I don't have to care about anything what these ships do. Oh, <laughs> that's so crazy. So either they made it a lot easier or naval battle is naval battle is just so more powerful when you are like one or two levels above them. That's a lot tougher when you are level four or level five. Definitely. So let's go faster. I always have the impression when I row that I'm a bit faster, but I'm not sure. It just feels faster. Maybe for the blurring effect or whatever. You always forget to brace. Yeah. But at that point I didn't have to brace at all, so I didn't care. I just saw, okay, two hits and they die, they don't have to race. I just can hit them and kill them. If you actually brace perfect, then you don't take any damage at all. You can do whatever you want with your ship.
Okay, well done, Stentor. See, are the Athenian dog Pericles fears. You. Yes. Uh, come to meet the wolf. You cannot. I said the fleet might be. It's not. Actually, I wanted him to pay me, but do he actually pay me? I don't know. Did I get money from him? Okay, I know, I know, I know how this works. Thank you, game. I didn't get any money, right? To get close to the wolf, it is just a uh, roleplay decision to she make him give you money, time. which sucks. I want to get money from Stentor. He have to pay me for everything I do for him, definitely. Um, let's do this location. There's a good tablet. We have to get this. Come on, Phobos, what are you doing? Don't hide inside the camera. I don't like that. You're not behaving good today, Phobos. Could be one of Stentor's scouts. Looks like he's run into some problems. <laughs> so here we get one important Ostraka for our build, which is the crit chance at full health. But we don't get the Ostraka, we, we get the tablet for the Ostraka. I oh know, the other guys saw us. Anyway, next time rush assassination, I have to remind myself of using of using rush assassination. I'll just use another arrow. Don't drink your magic potion. What are you doing? Wait. You are you do you're not supposed to use weapons, dude. You're supposed to work on that field. And there comes the first mercenary, or what? Oh, wait a second. What are you doing here? Oh, that was nice. And just kill him twice. Like, <laughs> assassinate him right into his heart and then break his neck. Just to make sure. So where is the damn tablet? Okay, I'm blind. I will get you, I will get you. I will but this bear right where it hurts. We actually complete that location. Uh, yes, we did. And we have a level 8 mercenary here. Okay. Level 8 mercenary. We will use rush assassination deals. At least it deals more. So how much does it deal now? It will deal 130%. No, it deals only 100 now. And I cannot upgrade it. Shit. I want to upgrade this. I want to upgrade this. Okay. Um, how much would we deal with a fire arrow? I don't have... Wait, I don't have fire arrows. I only have paralyzing arrows. Okay, that sucks. Okay, we'll do a rush assassination. And, oh uh, no, not good. Switch to regular arrows. I don't have anything else than regular arrows. Jesus, let me just shoot my arrows. 1000. This is not a lot. I will waste my whole arrows on that guy. I'm not going to do this now. Well, actually, I can do this. Uh, 
I can easily do this by just... Okay, we have to go back into stealth first. Just put your bow away to run faster, please. That is so stupid. Okay, now we are out of combat. We are not get we are still not getting our adrenaline. Okay, that is bad. That is so bad. Okay, you really have to get Archery Master because then I would have more adrenaline. I could use another rush assassination. I would just waste my whole wood. Oh, well, actually we have 40, so... Yeah, okay, let's do this, come on. What are you doing? The stupid stones made me walk in an awkward way. I don't know. Okay, what do we have to do now? Kill the leader. Okay, there are more quests. Um, Porching control. Okay, we can do that. Gives us XP. What? This chat took a strange turn. <laughs> what are you talking about? Florida? Um, I'm a friend. I should get a closer look to figure out what happened here. These were professional soldiers. Professional soldiers. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think bandits could have done this. Well, bandits could not have done this, but ordinary people could do this. That's weird. What? Some stupid chest somewhere. Um. Wait, do I have to? No. Okay, I have to collect more clues. Okay, Looks let's do like this. They went this way, into the more forest. clues. The supplies are missing. They can't have gone far though. They didn't use the carts. Don't think I'll find anything else. I should report back. If it okay. Um. Occupied forest of okay. Yeah, that location is I don't know. It's somewhere here. I think that is the cave uh, Southwest of the tomb Ah, Whatever we'll find it uh, But first let's collect the Ostraka solution The Ostraka solution for a hound dog is yeah, like basically where the dog is where the dog is at the docks. Just don't hurt any of those Spartans. That will really create havoc here. So there's a little dog. That is the first Ostraka for our crit chance at full health. The X marks the spot. Of course. As always. So we got 2%. We want to have the full 10% unlocked. Come on. That's all we can do. We cannot go to Hephaestus before we hit level 50. But we can solve the Ostrakas for it to get at least the 10% crit chance while full health. Who do you think you are? 
Stupid wolves. Okay, they will take care of them. Let's go. That's the grave of Tyr. Okay. The grave, not the tomb. It was the grave, not the tomb. Here's the cave. I remember it was closed. There they are. What? What? Uh. Okay, for some reason it does not trigger. Okay, that is not a good sign. Is the quest now broken? Finds the stolen foods and whatever. Maybe now it works. Okay, we had to kill those two guards. Gathering? What? What? Please. I think it doesn't matter what we do here, so we will do the good thing. Thank the gods they didn't try to fight. I wasn't in the mood to kill starving civilians today. Oh, this is a good tree. Yeah. Didn't we just kill those? I, I think we just killed those. The stupid animation revived everyone. Or oh, this cutscene, I mean. Okay. Wow, an amazing Athenian helmet with absolute no value. Um. Okay, we did that. You have to go get that fast drill point. And yeah, we can do the Odessa's quest. And we hit level 10. That's great. Bella. I just killed you already. Come on. Don't have to kill them again. It's just a waste of arrows. Bella. It's a waste of arrows and a waste of time. Oh, that looked like a lootable tree. I need more trees. More trees. So this is what war looks like. Not what the stories Kay. make it out to be. A capital Megara. If the leader's anywhere, he'll be here. A capital. Well, it doesn't look like a capital. Well, a little bit. French is a cool language, dude. Strange language because you can't speak it. <laughs> Every language is strange if you can't speak or understand it. Yeah, I can buy. I should buy it. Thank you. I should buy like a hundred or whatever he has. <laughs> yeah, Atlantis is a far better DLC that gives you a lot more of the useful stuff. Especially uh, the Decaster set with Izu Enhanced, the Izu Forged Weapons and Aris Madness, all the great stuff is there. All the great stuff. The only thing you really get from Legacy of the First Blade is Fury of the Bloodline, which is an awesome ability, no doubt about that, um, because it refills your four adrenaline bars when you execute it. 
Oh, there was a tree. There was a tree. And actually wants trees so badly. So where is Odessa's farm here? Okay, I went past it already. So from Legacy you only get basically Furious Bloodline and the Flamethrower for your ship. Which is also cool, but well, I use it almost never. What's wrong with you, dude? What? Okay, we are in whatever combat with a chicken. Okay, we have to kill that chicken. The worst enemy in the game, the chickens. The chickens are coming after us. Uh, maybe we could talk some more. More talk is always good. And now we can fast travel back here. What? This is crumble and burn, destroy supplies. Okay, we can also do that. Um, but now we just accepted the quest to one man army. Okay. Yeah, we will easily kill that many. Find steel nation shadow. Where is Odessa's quest? A family ordeal. Find and gather the medical. Oh no, that is bad. I know where they are. They are here. We'll just do that. Let's go. Oh come on. So we will do a couple of quests here. I think the Odessa's quest line, which has a pretty good synergy effect. Why did we actually release all those captives? What happened Enda. here? I haven't even been to that fort and we get all the captives freed. That's weird. That's really weird. So we completed one objective for free. Maybe we just go to the fort next. The what do you think, eight. guys? Jesus Christ. You almost killed me. Oh, it's a good thing I got my arrows back from the dog or from that wolf. Uh, where are those stupid herbs? Herbs, herbs. Where are the herbs? Did we got enough? No, two of three. Okay. Okay, we have to buy this. And use a fast roll point. Oh yeah, if Legacy of the First Blade was in Persia, it would have been epic. Yeah, my theory about uh, Legacy is that these quests in a different way existed already in the base game. Because there is literally no no quest in Arcaia or in... Uh, w what is that region next to Sparta? And Macedonia and, and the other region. S that they, these are really lacking some quests, so I believe they just decided to uh, skip these quests from the base game and just move it to a DLC. That is my theory. I'm not sure if it's true, but it's pretty obvious because there are no quests in these regions. Uh, <laughs> Odessa will pay you, of course. What? What did I do? What did I, uh, I? Okay, I stole something. I'm sorry. Uh oh, level eight. Um, 
Dude, you will use up all my arrows. Oh, come on. My arrows. My arrows. I don't want to waste my arrows. I'll just do the fort now. And I have to remember to use Russia assassination. I'm so used not to use it because I haven't used it in yeah like months or so like I've been trying to play more warrior on level 99. I mostly use normal assassinations for everything, so Russia assassination was not an option recently. Was just not needed. Like you assassinate the first one, the first enemy in every location with a normal assassination and then you use Aris Madness or Ring of Chaos and kill the rest. That's basically how it works. Okay. No. Okay, kill you with melee, even though it's weak. Seems like Odessa has been causing some problems for them. They're also after her father's estate. Wow. You can take a lot of damage, dude. Uh, Odessa, kill this guy, please. Come on, that's your one. That's your one, officially. I want to heal. Kill him! You're not wanting to kill him. Oh my god. I have to do this. I don't want to waste my arrow for that tiny bit of health he had left, you know? So I wanted to use my melee attacks. So you could have killed him actually Odessa, that was m pretty mean from you. Uh, people are after you because I told that guy you will pay him. Um, show me what you mean. Okay, yeah, first romance, nice. Um, what next quest? I'm always open for more. Um, Is that your idea? Reading can be maybe that's a great plan. <laughs> maybe naked reading, okay. Okay, now we have also the quest that I should head to the that give us more XP when we do the leader house. So we have to go to the leader house anyway, and Odessa gives us a quest for it. So that's the reason why we do that. Clear up the leader house anyway, and also finish Odessa's quest. Actually, you came too late for Bus again. They'll be on high alert here. We can invest a couple of points, which is good. And maybe upgrade our gear a bit. No, no. Oh, now we have critical assets. That's nice. Oh, we have Ring of K. Oh, that is great. We reached level 10. Um, yeah, of course we go. You said. Oh, we can also upgrade those can upgrade uh, healing next but the good thing is we have our archery master we don't have to worry about our adrenaline bar anymore if I'm going to wait a second if an adrenaline segment is partially drained it will refill outside of combat Supplies. okay still waiting for the refill oh we go okay that's good your yeah, Archery Master is so much needed to refill your first segment. And now we go with Rush Assassination. 
We can just wait until the first segment refills. We can use rush assassination again. And got the other one too. We go for the elite one. Probably not kill him. Okay. Now the show is over. With these assassinations. Okay, that is bad. Don't do this. Don't do this. There's still a pig after me somewhere. Stupid pig. Okay. Yeah, we saved it. Oh my god. We saved it. Anywhere? No? Okay. And we get the calm music. Okay, that's good. So we're completely in stealth. Nobody's even searching for us. Oh no, he was too strong again. Yeah, I need to hit more targets with Rush Assassination. I have to improve this skill. Um. Okay, and you will get the devastating shot, and you will get another devastating shot. What? You magically survived. And we got the mercenary here. Um. The good thing about rush assassination early now is I don't have to take care of being quiet. I don't have to c take care of my footsteps. I can just press the button from far away, which is really great. Okay, we will take care of this guy. Wait, you're at level 12. Shit. That means we deal almost no damage on him just because he's like two levels higher. Um, because of course that that is now breaking the whole thing because of that stupid mercy. Wait a second. Okay, that happens. That stupid mercenary. I don't know who shot me actually. Probably it was a mercenary. Man, that was so good. Until we had that level 12 mercenary coming to us. Oh, that was the first death, actually. Yeah, I hate that. When you have these high level enemies just coming to you, I think that's an issue maybe they should fix or so. They should only be your level, to be honest. That would make it a lot better. They shouldn't be higher level. Any mercenary coming after you shouldn't be higher level because that's just mean. That's just... A, you cannot kill him in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, that, that would have been so cool to clear this fort so easily. I can still do that. Okay. Uh, this is not so good as last time. There's someone behind me. I knew it. Oh no, a wasted devastating shot. That's bad. the other guy first and there comes level 12 mercenary again of course um, I can't do anything against level 12 mercenary this is yeah I could equip the Zeus uh, sword and hit him 40 times um, 
while he only have to hit me like once or twice because I play on Nightmare and that doesn't make sense. Of course! Yes! Another level 11. Uh, I'm thinking about paying my bounty actually. Crazy Mo, thank you for the $5 donation. Hello, welcome to the stream. Um, can I pay my bounty? It's actually only 250 and they won't bother me anymore. So it's okay to pay that bounty, I think. Until we have a much better build. Okay, guys, leave me alone now. Come on. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. We have more wolves, we have more everything coming after us. Can I just get out of combat, please? Just get out of this combat. A single fire arrow should do the trick. Thank you. Pay bounties. I mean, he's... He, that one was level 8 only. Well, anyway. I mean... What was the other guy? Level 11. So le we could kill the level 8 guy pretty easily. Well, last time was a level 12 guy. I don't know. Where did he came from? Okay, now we paid those mercenaries. We can just continue with the fort. And we, of course, we want to burn these supplies to finally trigger the battle. Um, here we go. Oh, that's a good way to get more wood now. Did we actually burn it? Yeah, we did. Hopefully we did. We did not. How can it not burn these supplies? So what went wrong here? Jesus, I should use fire arrows. The magical burning supplies that didn't actually burn. Yeah, uh, Sparta kick is good. Yeah, if you want to kick someone off the cliff. I don't know, I have never really felt the need to do that. Sparta kick is also really weak, so it deals only very little damage. Man, the first time I did this fort, it was so cool. And then the mercenary ruined it. Rush assassination is really strong. That's the beginning, really strong. Especially with the adrenaline refill. That is so awesome. And yeah. kill you. I don't even have to buzzer to sneak or whatever. Kay, let's make sure we loot all those chests and burn the supplies. There we have the polo mark. Another supply. Another chest. Here we have another supply and another chest and more supplies and there should be a cultist somewhere I'm not sure if we can actually kill him right now or if we just have to discover the cultists first I'm so used to use fire arrows. 
Okay, can you please stick to English? Can't read your stuff otherwise. Uh, okay, almost killed you. Did he say Athenian? No, he was in Athenian actually, I think. Okay, if you don't write English, I will just kick you out of the chat, dude. You're poking the hot air, dude. And you're dead. And we completed the location as well. So we should almost uh, have done the requirements for... Well, the nation chest is still here on the list. And the leader is also on the list. So let's do the leader house next. I won't go for the mercenary. I will just go to the leader house now. Um, when did we actually free those captives? <laughs> That's so crazy that they autocomplete for whatever reason. Oh, Amy, you were doing the Spanish. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize. Yeah, but it's better for everyone that you write English because then everyone can contribute to your conversation. That's the place. Any proof to be found should be dead. I'll need to be careful. This place is heavily guarded. And I would so much like to kill this guy too, uh, but... I have only two kills for Rush Session now. Wait a second, I just got a point. I just got a point. Um, oh, but I cannot upgrade this one. I can only upgrade some abilities, but not every every one. Um, I can not even upgrade the Devastating Shot, which sucks. Cannot upgrade this. Uh, could get the Fire Arrows, yes. But that would drain even my iron. Oh, I have a lot of wood. That's good. Thanks to those supplies. I looted all those supplies. So hopefully we won't have any issues there anymore. With our arrows. Uh, yeah, I'm really tempted actually to get the weapons master now. But I don't think I need it. Uh, I also don't think I need armor. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's save this point for later. This letter mentions Odessa's estate and how crucial it is. Okay, that was Odessa's stuff here. By any means necessary. Uh, here. One of Odessa's suitors died mysteriously shortly after meeting her. Do we have to investigate more? No. Investigate the leader house. Okay. Hmm. Not sure where the last clue might be. So we'll just look everywhere anyway. Get this. Oh, that looks like something here. 
know. Uh, oh yeah, here could be something. Yeah. Now I remember that it was here in this room. This letter claims that Odessa hired other mercenaries. I wonder why. So any chest left? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I totally forgot that you're here. Okay, two of three only. So where's the rest? Did I not burn this? Oh, I know where it is. Oh, it's here. The other one is here. Okay, now we have to find the Ostraka and one more chest. So yes, the Ostraka is here on top and the chest is... Okay, there. And that leader house will also give us a decent amount of XP, I think. Leader houses and forts are good. Forts give a ton of XP. Especially early. But it's hard to complete them early, except if you use rush assassination, of course. Okay, there's one more chest. I think that's in the tomb. I don't want to do the tomb yet, but I would I get a point from it, but I don't need I it now. Um... So we can report back to Odessa and yeah we have to do the nation chest thing here. I don't really care about uh, football or soccer. <laughs> Can you please all stick to English? Don't write German, don't write Spanish. It is just so annoying, guys, okay? Wow, Shanna, thank you so much for the 30 euros. That's awesome. I just looked at the chat and it directly popped up. Thank you so much. Romance Odessa for me. I thought I did it already. I just pressed the button so hard. Let's do this. <laughs> You've returned. I hope with good news. Okay, romance. Sleep, how about we finally have some fun? I appreciate your help, but I'm not sure. I thought there was something between us. At times it felt that way, but not enough for me. Let's keep our focus on what's important here. What's important? That's you. After everything I found, I know what's going on. <laughs> Shana what's buying us dinner. <laughs> dinner and Shana. You don't deserve any of this. You're only trying to live so, your life. So, so hard. <laughs> of course I am. I've done nothing Well, uh, how much... I just how often did I actually uh, pick the, the hard answer already? I think I, this is the fifth time or so I pick you this answer. After we have a little She's really hard to romance. Come attempt. on. Tell me, what is it that's meant to make me swoon this time? Uh, undress me and find so out. Undress me? I think you'll find out. I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> okay, here you go. You got what you want. Mm, that was enough to make me swoon. Told you. So that's it then. I guess there's nothing else to do. Uh, 
Well, if I make her join, I cannot kill her again then from the quest from Attica, but I won't kill her anyway. Uh, so should we leave her? I mean, she is not a good lieutenant. I'll just leave her, okay? You're right. Oh, you will. Because she is only like, I think, a, r a normal lieutenant. Not even a rare one. Or maybe a rare one, I don't know. But definitely not a good one. Um, hard to get? <laughs> what? <laughs> hard to get Lieutenant Odessa, definitely. Um, we have to loot the nation chest. I think in our quest log. Yep, so we have to do the other fort. She's purple. <laughs> Yeah, she's not good. We will leave her in her uh, village or hut or whatever. So, why is our ship not docked? We should dock it. I think that might be an error. We should actually have a docked ship here. Her father healed himself? I didn't realize that. I didn't pay attention to that detail. So I'm not sure what this quest is about. Let's find out. I think we have to go somewhere, do something. Uh, that's not the Spartan way. A tablet. He wants a tablet. The missing map. Uh, he's somewhere south of Fort. Okay, we will go to that fort. Uh, probably not finish that quest. But we will do the fort now. I think that is the easier fort. From those two. And then I think we should collect the Fox of Olympus. If we can still not access Corfu, I think for the conquest battle we have to... Oh, we can! Oh, we can! Oh, that's great! We can do this! Since when can we do this? Since level 10, maybe. So we don't have to finish Mega Reef. We can now go there. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. Then we don't have to sail around the whole world. We can just go there, grab the champion stuff, and then make a crazy build, do the, do the conquest battle, uh, finish off LP Noir. Oh, that will be great. So let's hope it works that we can get uh, that we can get away from Corfu without having without losing our abilities. I hope this works because then it's actually great. Oh no, I alerted everyone. Okay. Come on, dudes. I have arrows for all of you. Okay, anyone left? Of course, one more archer. Yeah, I heard you. Oh no, <laughs> better not in your rage state. Just use heavy attacks, they are so easy. Even if they have shields, use heavy attacks and Then they lose their guard and you can easily hit them multiple times and the combo finisher actually deals a ton of damage. 
Even though if your normal attacks don't do that, your combo finisher will almost kill them. I should get the treasure and leave quietly. The Athenian soldiers won't be It's actually hard to open that chest if you stand on top of it. How could you do that? It's not possible. More wood, we need more wood for more arrows. And chest. Okay, okay, oh we can actually get this. Why not? I thought it was located in a cave or somewhere an awkward place but if it's just there on top of the hill we will get it complete the other quest <clears throat> and okay now this is like really an issue from my controller like my controller is continuously holding up that sucks now it's gone okay The good thing is actually it doesn't matter if I'm not at full health because I don't have a high crit chance anyway. So I can just continue. I don't have to heal. I can just continue hitting this guy. Um, okay, maybe I have to heal. I have to correct myself. Okay, dude. And level 12. Just for killing the polo mark. Oh, come on, dude. Need to get our wood back. And only half dead. Oh, there is no no one left who can actually hear you. Yeah, drink your magic asterisk potion. I don't know. Come on. It's so fun. They really look like asterisk and obelix like drinking their potion and then becoming stronger. Well, actually not, but... <laughs> supplies burn baby burn um, two more chests that one and that one actually <coughs> when I played this the first time I actually even destroyed uh, the supplies in the caves because you can also do that then you don't have to go to the fort Where's the last one? Oh yeah. Mysterious letter. No, I just wanted to close this menu <laughs> and not drop myself. New bandits? Uh, what? New quest? Kill bandits? No. Oh, come on, please. Phobos. Off we go now. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's the worst Phobos I had in a very long time. And still enough time to use Rush Assassination. I love it. Oh, that stupid dog. Take care of you. 
And we freed the Spartan. You did well. Thank you. Retrieve the tablet from the thief. I'm Give me the Give tablet. Give me this. I can't fight you. I yeah, you can't fight me, fight. right? Okay, so we solved this without killing an unnecessary Spartan here. Um. Ooh. We get more XP, more XP. And we're directly heading to Corfu. I will actually make a save, just in case we can't get off that island. We will reload that save, but it should be working. We just go there. I think we have to maybe collect the first treasure or whatever. Because the map is blocked. And we have to go to the northern part. The missing map. And we're almost level 13. Perfect. And we can use the fast travel point at the port. Now we will make the save. Bye bye, Gonzalez. Then we have a complete English chat again. Hooray! <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, it please stick to Engl English, guys. Um. So which one should we over? Can we create a new one? Cannot create a save. Okay, which one do we override? I think we don't need one of those. We will override this one. That is a really old level 55 save I created in 2020. Level, f uh, not level 14. Manual save 14 is my save for the polo marksing <laughs> and that's my backup save so those two are the most recent ones it's of course all nightmare guys so manual save 16 let's try this okay b b b and I will take it and yes. Okay. I cannot just close these menus and I would actually choose no not to go there. So I have to wait, wait, wait and press carefully those buttons. Now you're starting your PS4 to get to Corfu. Oh, that's great. I thought you did it already, Shana. Okay, we'll skip this. Oh my god, a lot of talk. So now we will start to focus on our build actually. A little bit more. We need to hit level 15 still to get the big one bow. With all my old things here, I'm starting to forget about them. All the people I've met, it's like they follow me around. Physically and in my head. Ugh. Time to get back in shape. My god, so long loading time. 
Oh, the great thing is we also get the Talea's overprotective head. I also realized that there was a pop-up getting this again. Uh, so can we finally collect the Orichalcum here? I'm not sure. It's always again there. It's respawning every time. It's still not fixed. Um... I hate these targets. They are placed in such a bad position. Okay. Let's see about these clues. I don't think it will it will be saved. Wow, we got a backflip. We just got a backflip, guys. That's cool. So where do we get out of this stupid cave? <coughs> So who said the parkour is bad? Parkour is great. Just have to know how. <laughs> I think I tried this or or uh, did this like ten times already. <laughs> so we have to complete this first quest to be able to access the whole Corfu Island map. That is the thing, why we're doing this. And of course we have to get our gear back. And let me check. We can use portals. So we should be able to travel here at any time. Uh, we just should not progress beyond the point where we lose our abilities. Because that is, that is a bad thing. Then we would have to complete the whole island. So what actually unlocks um, Corfu Island? Does it unlock at level 10? What did trigger it exactly? Because that would be important to know if I make a video about a low level build where you have to go to Corfu. So was it that we reached level 10? I mean, I could just make a video and don't tell anyone how to access it and then we'll just continue asking in, in comments How do you get to Corfu? How do you get to Corfu? You know, so I have to find out what actually triggers it. I think it was level 10. It, it must be level 10 or something like that. Or a specific quest. I don't know. Do you know that? Anyone? How is 2022 treating everyone? I think 2022 is great so far. At least we get some Odyssey content, we get some Odyssey stream, we restart the game. This is so great. Oh, I actually wanted to do the fast roll point. But I don't have to. I only have to access the map now, and I think I can now do this. I just climbed on top of that stupid tower and not activated the fast road point for some reason. I'm so dumb. Why did I even do that? So champion Ostraka, here we come. Go for boost, you can do that. This is not Valhalla. Those hills are not as steep as they look like. Oh guys, I'm hungry already. I think after this stream I will make a big Big pizza. The bad thing is I cannot order pizza anymore at 2 a.m. in the night. I would like to, but I cannot. So I have to make one uh, from... Yeah, 
yeah, from the fridge. So only 2000 meters until we get the champion Ostraka with a lot of hills. That's the point, you only go here, sneak in, get this engraving and then you're out. You don't need anything else, just get this one. You're also now getting the... oh, you just explained stuff, probably. You like seeing Cassandra and Hala. Actually, Cassandra and Hala looked so dark, so mean, so cruel. I'm not sure why they did that to Cassandra. Cassandra is a good character and not a cruel one. So the style of Cassandra was not my favorite style they showed in Valhalla. Okay, 1000 more. We are just collecting all the XP from locations. What level are those enemies actually? Are they also level 12? Would be interesting. Does the whole island has any level cap? There is no level sign on top of it, so... I don't know. Um, the quest actually tells level 12, so it's probably all level 12 now. Six hundred. AC Odyssey is more important than getting food. Yeah, I know, but if I just, uh, yeah, if I, f if I just fell. <laughs> fall from this chair then you don't have Odyssey anymore it does. <laughs> no I'm just joking I'm fine uh, we, will, we will get this stream to the usual length like um, what should it be like four hours no we are almost four hours we will make this five or six hours I think probably six hours something like six hours uh, so Chrissy if you're still waiting for playing cyberpunk that's still a long way to go <laughs> Because I really want to make this build, but I have to do so much more stuff actually to do this. First of all, still leveling up quite a bit. At least level 15, but getting the gear should should actually be made at level 20, so... Ah, oh, come on, stupid wolf. You have to get to that stupid farm. And uh, I believe... Okay. I don't remember exactly the spot. It's probably here. It can be here. Could be somewhere else. This is the tomb or whatever that... Yeah, the ruins and the tomb. This is some strange other village. It could be here. Oh, come on, Phobos. That's annoying now. It's a Kolaidi whatever farm where we have to go. It's probably not this big one here. No. This is too big. It's more to the east. So 
Yeah, I think it is this one. Oh, come on, get out of this village, please. Get out of this village. Get out of this village. Oh, shit. Come on. Jump. Yes. You can do it. Full boss. And we made it. It's there. Which one? <laughs> Which location? Don't write it is there. <laughs> then I don't know which location. <laughs> you have to think about it. it's me reading this and not you being in your head. <laughs> so this is not correct. This is not correct. This is not correct. Not correct. Not what? This is just a farm. Jesus Christ. Where? No, here. This one. And we found more wood. I always like to get more wood. Should have plenty now, actually. From all this riding, traveling stuff here. I think I found it. Don't yeah. worry, I found it. Oh my god, so much wood. Yeah, the Koi Ladi farm. Oh Jesus, Cassandra forgot how to climb, of course. <clears throat> and we can get this, the champion, here we go. It's so dark. The sun is much better. Phobos. Okay, actually learn this trick now. Holding the whistle and then it will work. Come on. Yes. It's so nice. It looks nice actually. I didn't even kill Phobos yet. You have to honor that. I didn't kill Phobos yet. But we are not in uh, focus. So it, it will probably happen. Hey Rafik. I thought you have been here earlier. You have been in the waiting queue for the for the stream to start. I read your message there. Oh no, I don't want to go to the blacksmith. But I could get some wood. You can't have enough of it. Goodbye then. Come on. Okay, now where is it located? Uh, I think it's here. Just from uh, from top, you couldn't see all the decorations. It was a bit weird. That's why I thought, okay, it should look much more colorful. And where is that place? So here's a solution. The champion. Basically our first beacon bow element. Like it will boost us the same way as the beacon bow. And we can even get it before. So where's the blacksmith again? Let's ride. I never parry. <laughs> Well, dodging is so much easier and when you dodge you are getting away from the enemy having more time to shoot another arrow okay. maybe it just comes in handy when you also rather shoot arrows instead of yeah using your sword engrave 
Well, actually, on which gear? Oh, we have a nice level 10 belt here. Uh, it's all pretty rubbish still. I will just equip the highest one now at this point. Crit chance. Uh, I mean, I will focus on assassin at the moment. Cause assassin needs to be strong. But that little bit of all damage is... Oh, that gives you a ton of... Assassin damage and fire damage and sunburn resistance is basically only um, increasing or yeah reducing the or increasing the time when you get fire damage. You can do that. I mean we got this legit by playing. By just going to Corfu, so why not? Uh, oh, we have another sword. Oh, that sword is is better, definitely. Now at this point, it will like half our damage. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, of course, a new bow. Hatchet damage is always nice. Go with this one. Odessa's bow is not too bad. So 5,000 assassin damage and I think we will use this head like longer wow. than the other gear. So I will engrave it on the, on the head. And what else can we do? We'll buff our character a bit. This is not a build what I will do now. I have to play until level 20, 21 to get the enemy in line set. Then I will do a build. I'm just buffing some of these perks now, a bit at least. Um, so we will go for, at the moment we will go for hunter damage until we find the beacon bow. Thanks for um, And when we find the beacon bow, or when we get to level 15, get the beacon bow, I will. I will switch to warrior damage completely. I think I will engrave <laughs> just hunter damage everywhere. Crit chance doesn't matter still until we get the Nemean Lion set. We could engrave the weapons. Uh, we should be careful, not that it costs too much, but it doesn't cost too much. Oh, it already has hunter damage, so we go for... Um, not really much to engrave here. Yeah, we will do the... Then we will go for lower damage, why not? Um... And here we go for... Okay, that has hunter damage as well, then we use assassin damage. Basically only focus on hunter and assassin early, and then we wait for getting the main line set. So how much damage do we deal? Like 12,000 <laughs> assassin damage, guys. Oh, this engraving is... Like 206, 260, 260. Yeah, we get like 6% warrior damage and 60% of the other two uh, from our gear and 200% from this engraving. Like this is amazing. This is a complete game changer. We will one shot everything now. So now I want to get to a mercenary. Now I want to get to a mercenary. We are not even making a good build. We are just using this crazy engraving right now. And I just randomly engraved some rubbish gear. It is not even a good build. It is just randomly engraved gear. 
with that new engraving. So when you hit level 10, go there, get this stuff. This is so amazing. It's the double amount of damage than you get from the Falks engraving. And we can probably do the conquest battle right away. Oh no, we have to kill the leader. Okay, why not? There are some elite enemies, that will be cool. That's a good way to test our new damage. The best armor set in the whole game is the Navy and Lion set and epic armor is better, dude. Well, poison deals only 30% uh, of the damage from fire damage over time. Uh, so it's pointless to do a poison build. You can make a poison impact build, but fire is just overall the better choice because fire can be used to ignite stuff and you don't have to use your torches anymore. So always go for fire. Fire damage gives you also 40% from the ability and for poison you get only 25%. So you get less poison damage. You will deal less poison damage over time. Poison is just weaker. I made a heavy blunt build. A really good one actually like half a year ago. You can check it out. Um, And now the leader is dead. That was easy. Whoa, what's wrong with you? Okay, now the resistance kick in. But look at that damage, that's insane. That's like using the blade of yumminess and still use your abilities. <laughs> okay, there is there's the mercenary and he is like level 12. We'll do rush assassination. Oh, we didn't kill him, okay. Okay, that looks way different than before. Uh, we were not able to one-shot him yet, but that was way different. Wow. Just imagine when we crit this with 400% when we get the enemy in line set. Wow, that will be amazing. 500 wood. It's the final push. Oh, there's another mercenary. He's a red skull. A level 50. Um, well, okay. If you want to kill him, use a Zeus weapon. Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Come on. But he, you are not meant to kill him at this point. You are just not meant to kill this guy. There should be some high level mercenaries which you are not meant to kill. Actually you might trigger um, a sequence break if you kill him because he's a leader of a cultist branch and you get his stuff and so on. So there might actually be some viable sequence breaks now. Alongside with the fast travel to ports this could change speedrunning. I don't know, there's nobody speedrunning this game anymore. There was just one or two guys who really were decent at it, I believe. And I never tried it myself. But honestly, I also don't really want to speedrun this. I have to learn rock launch like really hard there. If you speedrun a game, you have to put a lot of dedication into it. Way more than I did now already. I'm proud. Yeah, we will win. Okay, and I will meet you there because you are just a slow ass. Oh, Jesus. Come here, Phobos. Well, 
Well, it is a race, why not? This won't be like any other battle I've been a part of. Okay, let's do this. Are you ready to Not sure if we can beat it. But with this damage it should be no problem. I'm ready. We have enough arrows, definitely. Oh, by the way, if we do conquer this battle and we have so much damage, what's wrong with my game? Oh, I know what happened. Yeah, it will be back soon. Don't worry. <clears throat> Should be back. Uh, I will get multi shot. Okay, if you don't get this, uh, that's a problem. No signal. Oh shit. I can see my screen, but I don't know why this is not working here. Wait a second guys, I will I will restart the HDMI splitter and then it should work again, okay? So now wow, we got it. So my TV switched off and then I just had like the, the HDMI splitter had kind of a problem to get the signal through my computer because one component switched off where the game is currently showing and I have I have it shown on my TV on my big screen here I have it shown on um, on my screen where I play and I also have my capture card connected and if one of those components shuts off and my TV does that after four hours automatically, I have to switch it off, probably. Um, then the splitter, I don't know. He lost kind of his programming and then no signal came through. I saw my game here on my screen, but it didn't get to the capture card. But I think we are fine now. So please... Uh, Please let me know, you can see that, right? Because my preview of YouTube is broken right now. I will go for multi-shot here. That is what I wanted to do. I can only invest one point, that is so bad. So it's back now, right? Can you see my screen? Just confirm, please. I can see, okay, all fine. Um, multi-shot. That will of course drain my arrows pretty heavily. And also my adrenaline actually. Okay, I have to kill those Athenians. I have to remember which faction I have to kill. Wow, I almost got killed. I have to save a bit of adrenaline for um, the mercenary. Ah, Jesus, focus on this one. Two arrows and everybody dies. That is actually great. That is really great. We should be able to beat this easy. Okay. Just I hate it when the game focuses on another enemy and not the one which is running after me. Some random guys coming out of the crowd. I don't like this. So this is a strange behavior they programmed here. G 
Jesus. But since we fight against Athenians, it's pretty bad because they have shields and multi-shot doesn't really do much against enemies with shields. Let's do some melee stuff here. No, we should not. Okay. The resistance really hurts. You, you really feel this at low level. I mean, when you have the Fox of Olympus equipped, you don't care about anything anyway. But here you really see how much health you lose compared to before. I hope this did not kill me. Oh my god. Where am I? Where am I? No, don't shoot shit. Okay. okay. Now I will shoot. Wait a second. Oh shit, that's not enough. Oh, I hate it. Now we have all those other people also running. I mean, the mercenary is already enough, right? Can we just... <laughs> don't have other people also running after me, please. I hate this. I hate this. That's why I hate it. Because you randomly get hit by those random guys. Oh Jesus. Focus on this guy, please. I'm trying. The game doesn't want to focus on you. Dude, now you're dead. Okay. That was a lot easier than last time. Leave me alone, dudes! I hate you! Just go and fight your enemies, not me! I'm just killed. Go and fight your whatever, dudes! Jesus Christ! This is so annoying. Okay. The end is near. Where? One more captain. Give them some, some multi shots in the back. Those bastards. Okay, we did that. Only killed 31, but that's okay. Wow, Bruce in the house. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. The wolf requests the presence of the mercenary. We shall be up to him in a moment. With respect, he wishes to see the mercenary alone. What? I said <laughs> Realism went the down the cliff on Mount Tegidos. I just don't understand why. Those were his orders, sir. Very well. Level 13. This is it. What do I even say? So you are the champion who won us the... Here, Pater. It's been a long time. Impossible. Impossible. I saw you fall. I okay, I let's skip this a bit. Even though it's really cool. I won't you kill you. The past long enough. Now you will answer to me. Happy to have you on the stream, Bruce, Shana, Amy. Justin, everybody here. Though you deserve death, 
Yeah, the battles are frustrating. There's always two people coming after you. But at when you reach the point where you kill everyone anyway, then you you won't be annoyed by those two guys anymore. Especially at the beginning, it can be annoying here for the first battle. Once you have Ring of Chaos, once you have Aros Madness, it's no problem. I loved you and your brother as if you were truly my own. But you were never mine. Can you explain that shop bow with gifts? What do you mean? I have made a whole video, 10 minutes, about this that bow, dude. <laughs> Check out Odyssey's biggest glitch video from like 20 days ago. Find your mother. Find her. Whatever main is, she knows far I already explained this once in the stream. It adds all the DPS to your melee weapon, making it double strength because you use your Where DPS you from the melee weapon and from your bow for your melee to weapon. Find my so you basically double your damage with the bow. It just does this because it is a glitch item. I need to get out of here. I uh, level 15 is needed. Level 15, not 16. So two more levels. And now we go here, fast travel right to the port. That's even faster. You don't have to use the other fast travel point. Yeah, definitely get that blue bow, dude. Spend your credits there. It's the best or the only item you actually need from the store. It's also the best item in the entire game and it's the only item you need from the store, actually. So that's both correct. Um, more XP, Barnabas. But that my ship is even broken. It's even broken here. How shabby is it looking? Okay. Now we get the helix credits. Okay, the game tells us right after we reach focus. Okay, that's good to know. Game Nurse Gala, welcome to supporter. Thank you very much for supporting the stream, for supporting the channel. Oh, it's actually 12 a.m. Or 12 or zero or whatever you call it, it's midnight. Level 14, there it goes. One more level, one more level, guys. Oh, if we find this mercenary, we can actually uh, get more XP. So just always accept those quests. What happened here? That's probably the mercenary we have to kill. Yeah. So we just accepted the quest, then found the mercenary instantly. And he is level whatever, 15. I think we can kill him. We're level 14. Yeah. Oh no! No, <laughs> guys, okay. That's bad. Oh no. Welcome to Focus, where the fun begins. Just don't... Oh, I hate it. That climbing inability, whatever. Oh, I don't like it, especially in such situations where you really have to rely on escaping. Okay, two is just a bit too much. Um... another rush assassination oh shit I'm only hitting the dog no I wanted to hit the other mer mercenary of course I cannot confirm him now so let's have to fight off the other guy here okay now I can confirm both easy and we even get some cool legendary gear. 
Oh my god, Amy, thank you for the $40. Oh my god, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Amy. That's amazing. Uh, okay. Two mercenaries. That's easy. How easy this game becomes with that engraving. It's amazing. I still cannot upgrade this. I want to upgrade Rush Assassination. I want to upgrade my Devastating Shot. I could get Fire Arrows. It would deal a lot more damage. Oh, here we go. Ring of Chaos. That's fine. I mean, we don't need armor anyway. We have that minus 100% resistance, so it's pretty much a waste to get armor. Um, I want to save those points. I don't know. I would. I mean, we can reset it. It costs like 480. That is 10% of my money, but I will go for Weapons Master now. Um, just to have more damage. I don't need to buy wood at this point, I believe. 400, that's okay. We have so much damage that we won't need so many arrows anymore. So that problem is also almost fixed by using that engraving. The poor dog. Yeah, I wanted to hit the mercenary. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Amy. <laughs> I actually wanted to hit the mercenary. We will make a crit build, but yeah, we still have to level up to level 20. I'm not sure if we can do that in the stream. Because we also have to collect a lot of stuff. Like collecting 10 points from tombs to really get to that level 22 build. And it took me 12 hours to do that last time, so that won't fit in the stream probably. Doesn't matter what you pick here. We'll fight you anyway. Oh, that poor shitty Ring of Chaos. I remember it was so crap at the beginning. Oh my god. Oh no, I hate those guys. Yeah, of course. You magically dodging all my arrows. Or parrying or whatever. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? I hate you. I hate this wall! I hate this fucking wall! Can you not climb a fucking wall? Oh, Jesus Christ. Like the only wall you ever have to climb in your whole life. That's incredible. I mean, you have to like, okay, just get up there, shoot him from the top, shoot directly into his head. But no, just don't climb there. No, not today. No. Okay, we do this again now. I mean, I died two times. I feel so bad, guys. I died two times on level 14 or level 10 on Nightmare already. That's so bad. Actually, <laughs> I now remember when, when I said this. I now remember a guy streaming this game like two years ago and he had a death counter on his stream. And he was, um, I think he was doing... I don't know, at level 14 and he had 170 deaths on his death counter. And I thought, oh my god, guy. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't even doing videos at that time, but I thought, okay, I think I could have done better. <laughs> okay, now we, had, we have two deaths. And I think both of them quite accidentally. Why? Because... Uh, 
Yeah, maybe I aim up a little more. There's like hot air above his head. I'll try. That's how I do it. Just instantly dead. You, I mean, you cannot aim higher. He's always blocking this shit. It's these enemies are magic. These are cultist guards. They are also blocking like my heavy attack. Wow, got you. They even don't care if I use my heavy attack. Uh, they still hold hold their shield. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do anything? Ha! Not today. I'm not a poor Athenian. I'm a cultist. Forget it. A letter to Alpino. Phoebe, you let him write to me. Oh, uh, just. Be, that is so good that you don't that you can't afford the blade of Yamnes because you don't need this shit. It will not be you will not be able to heal yourself anymore and just get the engraving on Corfu, you will deal the same damage, dude. Just don't get the blade of Yamnes. I'm so happy that you cannot buy it because you would it, it would just not benefit you. It would not benefit you. Really. I, I mean that honestly. Just get the engraving from Corfu instead. It will have the same effect. We get the same amount of damage. Look at that damage. We get 200% for everything. 16,000 assassin damage, 1,700 hunter, 900 warrior. That's insane. It's just by using the Corfu engraving you get 200% damage. You don't need the Blade of Yamines. With Corfu the Blade of Yamines has become completely obsolete. It's not useful to use it anymore. Just get the champion Ostraka. This one here on my head, the 100% all damage types, that gives you 200% because it's kind of bugged. That's all you need. Not the yumminess, just this engraving here which I put on the head. Okay, now we have to go where? Consulting a ghost. Let's go, Phobos. Can we kill uh, Alpino already? Is he already in that cave? Now we have to go to Delphi anyway. Now you can use it only once, but it will deal 200% and if you use the damage conversion you can make it 300% because it can even be converted. So if you use hunter damage conversion you get 300% warrior and 300% assassin damage from this single engraving. That is why it makes it so good. It is even better than the yumminess. It gives you even more damage when you have the damage conversion. It's equal to a second Bighorn Bow. Now we got this engraving and one more level and we get the Bighorn Bow. That will unlock total crazy... Th the total craziness. We will unleash everything. Or oh, whatever. It's getting late, guys. <laughs> I can't... I can't speak a proper sentence anymore. I don't know. How many are still? What, we are still almost like two, two hundred eighty, two hundred ninety. I don't see the counter. The counter has stopped working like four hours ago. That's an amazing stream. Most viewers ever. Where do you get it? I showed it in the stream like fifteen minutes ago. I just got this engraving, dude. You can just scroll back in the stream and uh, look it up. 
When I was on Corfu, I only collected this engraving on Corfu. Just go back in the stream like 15 minutes. Whoa. Sorry. Oh, Sean Clark. Thank you for becoming a supporter. Welcome. Isn't this remarkable? So if you get if you get the membership, supporter, premium or super fan, make sure you go to the Discord and also connect your YouTube account to Discord because only then you can see all those uh, secret channels. We have a member channel there, we have build advice channels there and you can only see them if you connect your YouTube account to Discord. So make sure you go to Discord. There are also all the wallpapers. So if you want to get all those wallpapers, Connect your YouTube account to your Discord and check it out. Herodotus. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. I I okay, Oracle, Oracle. Um. Hundred fifty seven still watching, okay. Yeah, I only see a graph. I don't see a number anymore. The number is still stuck at two hundred nine and the picture is not moving at all. <laughs> it's like stupid. When when you are in the YouTube um control room you don't see anything anymore it's just broken after after 30 minutes it stops working okay so we will skip that whole conversation skip the other conversation okay find Alpino I can just go and find him now and we almost hit the magic number. So we can now directly kill Alpino. There we go. Oh, but we have to activate the fast drop point. That is important. We have to go back here. Oh, climb. Come on. Okay. Get this and this. No, wrong one. Are you serious? Yeah. Wonder what today will bring. James Carroll, thank you so much for the thirteen dollar dollar fifty three. Must have been fifteen pounds, I believe. Thank you, James Carroll. So if I'm not mistaken and if the counter is correct, we are at 4 hours 15 minutes something. Okay. Sometimes the counter stops and then it starts again with 1 hour and I'm wondering what I'm still I'm streaming already for 3 hours and it shows only 1. And then I stream for like six hours, don't realizing I only wanted to stream for four hours. <laughs> Those things have happened, really. <laughs> I think we will go for either five or six hours, I don't know. We have to go to level 20. I so much want to make this build now, but... This is already really strong, only for the engraving. I can't imagine how strong that level 22 build will be when I actually uh, get the main line set and all the stuff for it. All the ability points and stuff. Almost died. I'm not sure if it is actually faster to use a horse here. Yeah, if you have a question, go on Discord. 
You will always get help there. And still managed to rush assassinate you poor bastards. Uh, but only two. Oh no, cultist guards. I hate you. No. Jump. Oh, he doesn't have a shield. Ah, that guy doesn't have a shield. What? Yeah, he didn't have a shield and he didn't need to. Of course. Oh, that was stupid. Come on. Nikolaus won't leave snakes in the grass, but I wasn't expecting this. Move. Okay. Need more sugar water with black color in it. And then we can do it. Now he is in the blocks. I can hit his feet. Yeah, you haven't had a shield on your feet, dude. Okay, hit your feet. Just hit your feet, dude. Oh, I hit your knee, maybe. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, shit. They get back into their super, super guard state where you can't hit anything except their feet. And we have a mercenary coming along. No? Oh, he spawned directly here, why not? Yeah, of course. No! Okay, he's down in the... Okay. Kill three more cultist guards. Come on, use rush the sound, please. Okay. I think the other ones might be in the cave. It's really important to make those rush assassinations here. This last one might be standing there. Okay. Sent him a nice devastating shot. 11,000. That's already pretty good. Without a lot of crit damage. We should be able to hit 100,000. Or maybe with the new engraving we can hit 200,000 headshots at level 20. That would be totally crazy. Just imagine 200,000 headshots. I get slammed at Malakas' stench. Death is coming for you. Okay. I mean, I could have killed him with melee. Trust what? Small shard I found on Alpino is like nothing I've ever seen. Might come in handy. I just don't want to die on that location again because of all the cultist guards. Don't want to risk it here. There should be like one more chest. Okay. I would rather have this saved. Okay, we got this. Um, 
just getting out of this location a bit to make the game save it. And now we can get the mercenary. It's level 14, don't know if we can. And now we're not against the dog. I mean, I could have waited just for nothing to happen. So once we get our 400% crit damage, we will like kill him with the double the needed damage. We make almost only no crits this at this time still. And this will be so overpowered. Um, by the way, we hit level 15. I'm not sure if it actually will add damage now. Because we we have such a low warrior damage. We have to upgrade this bow then, definitely. Uh where well we have it here. Yeah, you see the damage increase of 900 something um, so problem is that our hunter damage was actually higher than our warrior damage so we actually hurt ourselves now when we use a big gun bow just because our hunter damage is higher um, that is a problem at level 15 so with this bow that's the one we had before right Um, oh, actually, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to equip a left sword here. Oh, we could use Nicolaus sword. Why not? Just why not? And then equip the beacon bow. So basically, we have almost the same warrior damage now than our hunter damage. Um, so it doesn't hurt. We can upgrade or maybe not. If we now change the engravings to warrior damage, which we have to, then we will have more warrior damage than hunter damage and it already gives us a benefit. That is a problem. At this point, this is almost equal. So your hunter damage will not profit. We greatly increase the warrior damage from 1000 or from 900 something to be over 2000 now. So that absolute crazy to have this double value here um, and it didn't help our hunter damage at all at this point but uh, if we change all this stuff now to warrior damage it will be more and if we get higher levels then definitely it will just get more and more and better Yeah, I really need the Nimian Lion set here. Um, no more... No more Hunter damage. We go all Warrior damage now. Warrior crit damage. What is that? Oh, I found that one. Okay. Warrior. And we will surpass the uh, amount of Hunter damage now. We need a warrior. That is still the best boots we have. What's that crap? Can't believe it. Okay. Hunter, assassin, I want warrior. Nothing with warrior damage. Jesus Christ. Okay, we can use these. What's that crap? We will just engrave warrior then. And here of course. Nice one. Or maybe... Well it doesn't matter. We will just use anything we have here. Just until we get the Nemean Lion set. Because that is a safe bet. Of course you can also farm for epic items. And get perfect epic items. That's also possible. You don't have to get the Nemean Lion set. You can go for epic items as well. It will just take some time at the blacksmith and then you are fine. 
Um, we will use left weapon anyway. So that doesn't, that's not important anymore. Okay. We should travel to a blacksmith now. Um, killed Alpinor. Mm. So that was kind of a sequence break here. The truth will come out. Interrogate the Oracle. Yeah, we have to go here. But I first want to improve uh, the engravings to get warrior damage on them. You can put it on anywhere when you get the engraving. You can put it on your armor because you have more and better engravings for your weapons. So when you get the core for engraving, uh, put it on your armor somewhere. There is a build on the channel which you can use. Uh, it's a new max damage build 2022. That is a level 99 build. And that shows you the perfect build for it. We go to the blacksmith and engrave warrior damage everywhere instead of hunter now because the hunter damage is not needed anymore. The big one though uses warrior damage when we shoot arrows. anything better it only works once so we cannot engrave it I mean we can engrave it again but it will have no effect um, I could just go for all damage here but crit damage is <sighs> not at this point go for more assassin damage then And the other sword. Actually, we should use a different sword with warrior damage. It's pretty much a waste. Do we have something with warrior damage here. That's good. 5% warrior damage. I will use this one. Don't want to use a Zeus weapon. Or we Can buy something you? from him, maybe. That's probably expensive. No, it is not. Oh, that is a great one. Yeah, why not? Why is this? Um, we go and engrave assassin damage. And on the big one bow, we will also engrave warrior damage. I only want more warrior damage because I don't have it's any crit day, chance items. Goes. We'll just engrave everything with warrior damage. Just going for the pure base. Is that actually better? Oh wait a second, wait a, wait a second. If I cannot engrave anything useful I will... The item with the least useful engraving I will use for the 100% damage. So if I use this, is it actually better? 9% assassin? Yeah, that is better. Um, yeah, still not convinced on, on using um, crit chance, 2% crit chance just now at this point. Bracers. Or those. 
not able to get more. Shit. Could engrave it here. Okay, we'll put it here. We put something else on the helmet. Um, here we can put assassin damage or... Yeah, okay, just go for the crit chance, why not? I mean, this is just for the next five levels or so. It's really hard to use some random gear and decide what to put on. So assassin... We have warrior, we'll go for assassin here. And we have the boots left. We should buy new boots, actually. Good day to you. We can get these. They're not even expensive. Wow, they're really good. Look at these stats. I mean, not perfect, but near perfect. Warrior damage, fire damage, and crit chance while full health. Of course, we go get this. Thanks for looting. Thanks for looting? Or looking? I almost heard looting. Um, yeah, assassin damage then. Okay, now I think we have something double here. Um, so these assassin, warrior, assassin, all damage, warrior, assassin, warrior. We don't have assassin here. We have a little bit crit chance. Why not? Oh, we could also put crit chance here, by the way. And if we collect the Ostrakas now, we can get 20% basically by doing so. Um, oh, well, not because it's already here. Okay. Okay, we have this here. Yeah, it's okay. Um, this one. Two thousand five hundred ninety-six. Okay, that's basically like the hunter damage we had, but at this point on, it will only increase. It will just only increase. Make sure to use your left weapon, which is now here on the screen. The other one. That's a really big mistake. So, in the inventory, the left weapon is now the strong one. You see that the left weapon has two thousand five hundred ninety-six. And the other one, 1,500. And since you always use that also for your arrows, you have to make sure that you use the left one, which is the yellow one here. In this menu, it is actually on the right side. This is really important, you have to know that. Otherwise, you will use your weaker weapon and the bigger bow will not even work. So for the next five levels, we will use this. Or six levels. I think I will make a save now. And just overriding this. I think we're even two hours faster than last time. Because last time I struggled so much with the conquest battle. And now we already hit level 15. Last time I barely hit level 15 after six hours, I think. Oh, come on. Forgot that Phobos cannot swim. Is this a safe where I collected my Orichalcom? Ah, uh, no. This is complete new safe. I started from scratch. You can only collect your Orichalcom with a different account. So if you use a different account. And I have another account on my Xbox uh, where I also purchased the Orichalcom map to test something. That's a different one. So this is qual uh, this is from my main account, but just another save file. So I have all the items in the game available. Yeah, there was actually. Um, we actually thought that we could maybe um, have the Oikos glitch back. 
There was once a glitch for the Oiko store um, that you could get a legendary nice, item in that you could get a legendary item in every Olympian gift. Um, there was an error message when you got these items like transaction could not complete and every time you got this error message you got a legendary item and you could just get them from the own tab in your store and you could just continue to buying Olympian gifts every time you got this error message you just got another legendary 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 every time you got a legendary because every time you got this error message but in fact you got them all added to your uh, inventory in in the own tab of the store this seemed to have happened with the tartarus weapons but only if you had the tartarus weapons being your last items and always when you got a tartarus weapon you got this message as well so if the tartarus items were the last items and you only had the tartarus weapons left then you could get a tartarus weapon in every pool like I also got this and I wondered if it is still working or if we got the Oikos glitch back and I pulled gifts like and got my first Tartarus weapon and then I got another gift, another arrow, another weapon, another gift, another arrow, another weapon. I got like three, four in a row and then I was out of Orichalcum and to further test this I had to uh, collect like 300 Orichalcum with a new account. And on that account I then realized that it doesn't work when you uh, have uh, when you don't have every item in the game already. It only works with Tartarus items if they are the last items you get. So when you don't have all the items with the other account, I never purchase anything. Of course, I own everything here on this account. Why should I buy everything twice? It doesn't make sense. So the other account uh, just pulled a gift and it got a regular legendary item no error message and then the next time also another item no error message so it was not working because it works only when you pull a tartarus weapon from the gifts and the chances that you get a tartarus weapon from the gifts are extremely low you have 180 other weapons you could get instead of a tartarus weapon so every time you pull something and you get a legendary it will almost certainly not be a Tartarus weapon. The chance is like 2%. And uh, then the next pull it will probably be a regular one as well. So um, you could theoretically get all the Tartarus weapons one after another if those were the last items to get. But if you don't own anything, you are out of luck. I mean, if the Tartarus weapons are the last weapons to get, you will get them within like two or three weeks anyway. So. It doesn't matter that you get them one after another. So I didn't even bother making a video about it because only very few people uh, actually, very few people actually have all weapons, all items that could actually do this, and they will have these weapons already. I think you still get an error message when you get a Tartarus weapon. And when you do that, when you get this, uh, your chance to get a legendary is not reset. Oh shit. Oh no. It's really complicated. If you know about the Oikos glitch, you can check out the video. It was an extremely crazy glitch in 2020. But it's not working for any new players. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't want to do it. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't want to do that this way. I want to rush assassinate those guys. Okay, let's do this again. Why I didn't even kill him? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. This is annoying. I hate cultist guards. I'm missing my strong ring of chaos attacks.
You can only hit his feet, it's so bad. And he will block my melee attacks anyway. How do I kill you? How do I kill you? I mean, I could just get out of combat, do another rush assassination. That's probably the best. My warrior attacks are still not strong enough. I would just blow them away with rush assassination, nom normal, uh, with ring of chaos normally. So now we do another rush assassination and kill two. No! That was too... Oh shit. He detected us instantly. Uh, I hate these blocking shit guys. I just hate them. They are so annoying. Even when you play normally, when you are having normal gear. Or better gear, let's say. <clears throat> okay, please let me get out of combat. This is... I know I can so easily beat them. Please. Oh no! Oh, come on. I killed one. Okay. That's good. Okay, dudes. Give me my adrenaline. Need my adrenaline. Ne what? What? Which one saw me now? Yeah, I got you. Oh shit. That's a mercenary actually. I can kill the mercenary. Let's just kill the mercenary. The mercenary is easier to kill than that stupid cultist guy. I was just waiting for you to attack me. One more mercenary. Oh, wait until we make crit hits, dude. Just wait for my crit hits, dude. Okay, now we finally can do this. Sometimes, of course, Nightmare is just prolonging the inevitable. Um, there should be another chest somewhere. No! Guards! I'm not here to hurt you. Yeah, shield piercing, but that... Um, I don't know which weapon is actually unlocking it. But none of them would but the um, ghost arrows is unlocked at the top of God. your hunter tree. You cannot have it at low level. Enough with your I would life. usually use ghost Tell arrows. I want to know. I can't breathe. If you raise your voice, if you tell a lie, I will cut your throat. Who? You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. I could get, yeah, shield break. I could uh, just get Tell this ability, but I don't like this ability. But actually, it's scared. good, right? It removes the shield entirely forever the because of Apollo, there is she an throws it away. I think they meet there. It's a good idea. I but never thought about it. Cloaks and masks, I just suffered silently. <laughs> Where can I Every find time. Cloaks and masks? But it's not so often that I restart from level 1, so... I haven't thought about these things so much. I, I, now. 
Shield break is actually insane. It has like a one second uh, refill. You can use it every second. I think Shana really likes this ability. So there's one more. I actually want to get more rush assassin uh, chains. So that should also solve a bit. Like increase the sixth sense duration so that you cannot so easily be spotted. Uh, get another kill for the rush assassination or another two. Upgrade this one. It should make a lot, a lot of things a lot easier. Now he's tracking me. So Zerpin's lair. Okay, now we can... Level 17. No thanks. I'll just do this one first. Oh, age is just a number. That's also a funny quest. And since we killed Elpino already, we can just directly go to the Zerpin's lair. We made enemy feet. on the Atlantis blade dagger that's in a high level area and you need to do a bunch of quests to get it okay so that's not an option but you are not uh, you're not mixing it up now with the as uh, the Atlantean the Atlantean dagger but you're not mixing it up with armor penetration right Armor penetration, everything you equip in your character works for your whole character. There's only one exception. When you make your weapon become fire damage, it only works for that weapon. Every other engraving, armor penetration, 100% damage, of course it works for every weapon. When you stack weapon damage, damage your swords, it also stacks for all the swords you have in your inventory. So just check the stats page. It's all stacked there. Costumes were a good idea. What console do I play? It's Xbox Series X now. So we have 60 FPS, but the stream is in 30, I think. You're late! Very late! It's a good thing Vimos hasn't arrived yet. Sorry, it's my Enuric. I'll Okay, this is a boring part, but All right, then. I, you're not listening to Roman. I'm wise to what It's actually interesting when you play it the first time, but you can actually not skip this. We need to look for the father. It's who? We as I have to And I have to go here once, I believe. And I get all my first cultist clues here from the letters. Letters to and from the cult. Gods, they have a foothold in every part of the Greek world. We're in more danger than I thought. I can't even walk faster, it's so annoying. So that's Demos coming out there. Um. So go to that cave, and burn this guy. I 
I will do it. Should we watch this cutscene? Actually, it's a cool cutscene. We should watch it. It's cooler than most of the others. Just takes their masks off. <laughs> well, at this point, if I take their masks off, I I'm so under leveled, they would probably kill me. <laughs> even with the big and bow, ah, even with the core engraving. Now it is every okay, we can speed this up a bit. What I want to touch it. Now this is the cool part. Elpinor is dead. Oh really? One of you. Elpinor is dead. Who killed him? The artifact will expose them. Everyone will be destiny. The chances that he is actually finding a uh, Finding the right one in the second try are so so slim. Oh. Yeah, swords are the best. I mean, I made a comparison for the weapon types. Uh, you. I think swords, blunts, and what was the other good one? Swords and blunts have some really good attack, uh, yeah, attack sets. Like daggers deal only half the damage of swords, so they really suck and they have literally no range. Um, yeah, spares and staffs overpower are pretty bad. Especially the spare overpower is bad. With a spare, you are always like poking in in a haystack. Feels like you do poking in a haystack with those enemies. Excess heavy blunts are slow, but heavy blunts are quite okay. I mean, they have really cool stuff for crowd control. If you have melee resistance to 100% and you use a heavy blunt, that's insanely cool. I mean, you can't be touched with that heavy blunt and you swing around your hammer and kill everyone. It's so cool. Yeah, there are two really good lootable swords in the game. One is Hater Sapa from the Friend in Need quest in Attica and the other one is the Sword of Axon. I will also collect them, but I first have to be level 20, I think. Otherwise, I have to upgrade them. Now he's just killing another guy. <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh my god. Do the others have to pick their shards from his face then? <laughs> or will Demos hand them back? <laughs> I was wondering about that. They have to clean the shards. Oh, you think the masks are unnecessary because they don't know each other? I think a lot of people don't know each other there. Oh, you're alive. 
I don't think it was meant that everybody knows every other cult member. I don't. I don't have the feeling that I that this is the case, actually. It is some kind of group, and they don't really know every one of this group. That's my uh, actually. That's my perception of it. There were people in the temple. I couldn't see their faces. Yeah, in the group branches, maybe. Yeah, it Robert could be. That's that's also what I think. Because there's a leader, he controls the other ones in his group, and he doesn't know about the rest. Pericles, <laughs> father of democracy. Okay. Oh, we have some cool gear. It's not too bad looking. I think when I got this cultist menu, I got it like after 10 or 20 hours playing this game. It was so amazing. And I thought, oh my god, now I'm still unlocking stuff in this game after 10 or 20 hours of playing. That was so crazy. It was almost unbelievable that I still haven't found out about every mechanic after 20 hours. Because I did like every single side quest and then I got here, unlocked it and I was, wow, there's still a complete new menu, more stuff to do in this game. It completely blew me away when I got when I found out about the cultists. And this is quite some big thing, right? It's a ga it's the whole game is actually about this, and you only find out about it after playing it for 20 hours. That's crazy. So we hit level 16. And with level 16, here we go, we get Fury. So basically our my my melee will is now set with the stuff I want to have and I still cannot upgrade it. I mean it's rubbish to have this ring of chaos at level 1. It's so bad. Also devastating shot. Oh, we can upgrade this one. That's cool. Uh, now we have no points. Okay. So we have to go to Andros, I believe, and then we unlock level 2 for all of those abilities. Let's see how far we can actually level up before we reach Athens. Because in Athens there is also another Ostraka. Athens is quite quick, I believe. A lot of quests that's just talking and we get a lot of XP. Maybe we can do it really quickly and hit level 20. Okay. I won't kill you today, Phobos. Even though you did a bad job. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. You didn't manage to jump the cliff. <laughs> now can you please teleport? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Hold the whistle button doesn't work either, okay. At least I didn't kill him. He's not wanting to help me, but at least I didn't kill Phobos today. I think I can jump here. Why are you restarting? Because there are a lot of new people and they like to play the game with the new engravings and I want to make new low level builds. Dude, why would you not restart? The game completely changed basically due to that new engravings. Especially the champion one. Uh. 
Herodotus. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... You, I, uh, you, in, just... You, I'll... Okay, now we sail. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Herodotus. Would you be traveling with us? Only for a short trip. Oh, the good thing is... That we can now use this port. Oh, that's really great. Because there is no other fast travel point here except the one here in the mountains. So that's good. We have another fast travel point here. That's actually really useful. There was really a fast travel point missing at that ship dock. And now we can also... We will get the whole year quest. Um, I will just... Maybe when we get close to the coast we will unlock more ship docks. I'm not sure. I have the wrong so Oh yeah, because of the cutscene. Yeah, I cannot switch it now, and I will stop the shield. Okay, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, new engravings. It's a no-brainer to try everything. It's almost like Cyberpunk, like after every update you have to play the game again, because they change so much. Uh, this is, but well, this is really kind of, what are those ships doing here? So if you ever need some ships, here they are. No. Oh, I can still pay. Yes. Take that, stupid mercenary ship. Goodbye. <laughs> what are you still firing me? No. He's not. That's why I like it. What? <laughs> Jesus, I paid your bounty. Oh my god. And let's check if we have the dock now. No, we don't get the dock. Okay, probably we have to dock. We are not, we are still. Shit, we're in combat. Okay, I don't care about that dog. Now we got the hull. Yeah. Oh, that's all oh, that stupid cultist shit. Um, memories awoken. Okay. Hull. Yeah. Gather resources and upgrade the ship's hull. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with this ship? Just go forward. We got this quest, just upgrading the ship. And we could also put another lieutenant here if we have one. Ah, oh, Bayek. Um, well, health on lieutenants, I don't need that. Health on boarding, I never board, so. Robot stamina, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, Eevee is upgraded to be like 14%. This is completely useless, Bayek. Oh my god. <laughs> Could you not have some better perks? I'll pick him for ship armor only. I mean, I can just get my lieutenants from, from the store. Which I have. Yeah, just check out, if you want to know about the new engraving, check out the uh, new Bicorn glitch found video. Because there I show the new engraving from Corfu. Oh, 
It's also used in the new max damage build 2022. So unlocking the ship dogs doesn't even work that good. Um, we don't have a dog here unlocked. And we didn't get this one. Now since we have set foot on that island, yeah, now we get it immediately. We have to set foot on that piece of land. I will switch my sword, yes, thank you. I almost forgot. <laughs> switch the sword. Switch the sword T7. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Norma. I already forgot again. <laughs> what? I just heard Corfu. we have to i think actually we have to delay that real build until next week or so because i have to get all the ostra cars still i can't do that in one hour it's impossible to do i have to get all the other four ostra car location 10 more tombs or at least the ostra cars at least to level 21 i cannot get this in one hour Finally changed my sword. <laughs> he saved his life. <laughs> I would be only doing 11 damage. <laughs> yeah, 11 million maybe. How much do we have? It's like uh, 1,600, 2,600, 20,000 assassin damage. There are a lot of builds. Just click on, just click on the logo of the channel, dude. There's a low-level builds playlist. There are multiple level 50 builds you can make. There are at least three level 55 builds. And I would probably make a new one here as well. So, oh shit. Didn't hit our target. So first I have to make a new low level build of course. And then we progress further in the story. Until we reach level 50 I will make a new level 50 build. But the low level build will follow soon. So where is that stupid entrance? There. Yeah, still going. Six hours, Bruce. Uh, usually stream for six hours. Either four or six hours. Today, definitely six hours. Is that a door? Here it is. How do I get inside? I wonder if... Yeah, I have to level up, obviously. So I have to 
get to Athens to get more uh, XP. And I think in Athens we can do these quests quickly to get more XP. And in Athens we also get the two epic swords and the Ostraka. The next Ostraka is located near Athens. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong, but you're not taking action. I was going. <coughs> Mother. By the gods. Wow, MPZ, thank you for the five dollars. Oh, where I am. Thank you for the five dollars. Love your wits, man. Because of you, this game never gets old. Thank you so How much, dude. Like yeah, as I said, the plan is actually to have the stream and to, I even this to uh, like stream the whole playthrough here again with you. Explore all the new stuff and see how powerful we can actually get with the new engravings and stuff. Maybe we even explore with Someone's these cloning. plus 200% crit damage stuff from the Typhons. Um, X, and then we make new builds alongside this playthrough. So level 20 build, level 50 build, level whatever build. That's actually the rough plan, and there will be much more, of course. No problem, dude. Hope you enjoy the builds. Of course, the only new one with the new engravings is at the moment is the new uh, max damage 2022. But you can add this engraving on any existing build, of course. I so I let you stay in the animus too long. Your vitals are thanks, Z Rage Whisper, for the one francs. Thank you, dude. Of course, you can use any existing build on the channel. And just put the new uh, champions Ostraka right on now, there with the 100% damage. And I take care of That's easy now to do. But I will still definitely make uh, some really good builds with the new engravings only for them. No, and don't so we have to skip that Lila shit here. Uh, Get back into it. No, I mean, what what do what do they expect us to do? Uh. Read all emails? I want to get. Inside this. Yes. Yeah. We have some cool looking armor at least. That's cool. Cult won't stand a chance. Okay, now we have, we can still not upgrade this. Oh my God. Okay, we are missing points, but. Okay, let's, let's just uh, level up. Uh. Is it a sequence break if I fast travel to the ship? Oh no, I can't even fast travel, okay. So that's hard coded. We have to go to the door to meet Demos. Well, it's clear someone was here far before we were. Yeah, I mean, what what do they expect us to do when we are in Lila's Did office? Do they really expect us to read all the emails and texts for like one hour and then get back into the game? Okay, some people might probably do that, but oh, come on, really. I mean, there's just a computer with a lot of emails, with a lot of stuff. Of course, you will go there and check that there's a lot of stuff, but who's going to read it, really? Time to talk! <laughs> you completely forgot that there was a modern day. Yeah, the good thing at level 99 you will not get back to Leela anymore after you completed Atlantis. Atlantis has so many breaks. Oh, that's that's really bad actually. That's the bad thing at Atlantis. 
that you get to Leela and back and forth and back and forth. They should have really made this better. He's a demigod. Sounds like a fantasy to me. Did the co I'd watch your fucking mouth, or I'll shut it for you. You didn't when you had the chance before, and I bet you won't now. This is stupid. We need to find our mother. Actually, my armor looks cooler than his, I union. think. I just want to know what you think you're doing. Same thing as your cult. Looking for Mirini, our mother. They don't need her. Your cultists think differently. She's their next target. If they ever pursued her, it would be to kill her. But if you don't know where she is, that means she abandoned you too. How sad. Even if we were a... The cult has no interest in sentimentality or family. Its only aim is control. If it's true they're after us, Tell them they'll never find Nikolaus. He's off the map. Trust me, I've searched myself. If I could find you, the other long lost child of Nikolaus, then I can find him. And when I do, he'll wish he was thrown off that mountain. I don't care what you think. What? We <laughs> Oh, you think. It's responsibility. Responsibility. Okay, we have to, I will Get make sure I will horse. be nice here the to Demos. I'm not sure if this is any in you. any way affecting the story. I don't know. I pr I think probably not. But I just want to be nice and have a good ending here. I'm going after the cult, you know. You've seen our numbers. You see it. Yeah, your numbers. You're like 50 so people, and I will kill uh, kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you claim we have the same blood. We still found each other, brother. <laughs> I told you not to No, touch not me. yet. <laughs> That's Demos! so funny. Baraka. Herodotus won't believe this. I have to tell him what happened. Okay, fast travel to the ship, go to Attica. Oh, Shana, you're leaving already. Bye bye, Shana. Good night. And Chrissy is still watching, still not playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> so, Aza, this will be a long night for you playing Cyberpunk the whole night. Or you rather have to do this tomorrow? Or maybe you play already. Have you heard anything of the engraving issue? Yes, I uploaded a video on December 24th on Christmas Eve that it was fixed. Check it out. They somehow released a server side fix or something. I don't know how they fixed it, but the engravings are no longer deleted. They are not pushed out of the list anymore. So when you do call for now, you will keep everything you have. I mean, that issue was really severe. I even bought a new weapon. Uh, which was a dagger of Momokos. And that engraving was even not visible. It was even pushed out of the list already. So I bought a new weapon and got a new engraving that I was not able to use because it was already so far down that it was not usable from the dagger of Momokos. It's really bad. But it was fixed. I don't know how they fixed it. Um, I believe they changed some, maybe there was an order of engravings programmed into the shop items and they simply changed those shop items to have a different order. I mean when, when you do something like that you likely have an internal order um, where this item gets a value of 100, the next 200, the next 300 and maybe they just um, sh shrunk the gaps now. Maybe that was a complete different issue. Maybe that 
that it was only 100 was just a coincidence and it had never never anything to do with them being only 100. Maybe it was just an issue that they run out of those numbers or something like that, I don't know. I think they changed something server side wise which made it fixed in some way. But it's fixed for PC, it's fixed for, for Xbox, so I've heard a lot of people it's now working and it's cool. Ubisoft of course never reported this officially, that they fixed it and they left the whole thing to us to realize that it's now fixed. Of course they wouldn't admit on their Twitter account that oh by the way there was a bug and we have fixed it now. Uh, that's bad news for them, so why would they do that? They will just leave it to us and find out that it's fixed. And it was actually fixed at the night to Christmas Eve. It's crazy actually. And when you file tickets... I have to talk to this shit guy. I knew it. When you file tickets at the Ubisoft support, they tell you, yeah, wait, we will k take care about it, we will post it on our Twitter account, we will post it on our forum. Bullshit. They don't do anything. First of all, they will probably likely never fix any issue and every ticket you create will automatically close after four days. So you have to go there, open this again and say, hey, the issue is still there, hey, the issue is still there, hey, the issue is still there. When do you actually fix it? And if they fix it, they won't even post anything. Because it's bad news, everything is just bad news. So bullshit, I tell you guys. This only got fixed because I'm, I and several other people made a video about it. So Raptor mentioned it, I made a video, Fragnat mentioned it, and or made a video, and even Darkstrider made also a video about it. It was only fixed because of all the publicity it got. And all the other issues are probably never going to be fixed. You can really bet on it that anything else will probably not be fixed. Pretty sure they won't even fix the Orichalcum stuff, they won't do anything. They won't do... or they won't fix the Dalvon Dagger probably as well. I might be surprised if they fix it, but at this point I don't believe they will fix anything else. It's really tiresome to even talk to those... Um, support guys they have a prefabricated answer they had a prefabricated answer for all this shit and it was always the same i reported like five different issues i always get the same answer it's like a prefabricated text you get and then they move the ticket to you and if you don't do anything it gets automatically closed after four days that's how the ubisoft support works it's complete shit at, at first you think oh i nice i got a response oh they take care of me they don't do anything they just post these generated messages to you and waiting for the ticket to get closed. This is how Ubisoft support works. Especially if nobody is working on the game anymore, which I still don't believe. There must be somebody fixing shit. Uh, this is crap, guys. But at least we got the, the worst issue fixed here, which is good. So we can use all our engravings for those people who own everything, actually. This is good. But I have really little hope they fix anything. They don't even fix that uh, Cerberus charge engraving, which sticks at 4%. How can you even add new stuff to the game and then not fix it? It's like you sell some broken stuff to people. If you sell broken stuff to people, you have to make sure that it works. Otherwise, you could just f file a refund. Hey, my Cerberus charge mage maze doesn't work. It's like you go into the store, buy something and it doesn't work. You can go there and get a new one that works. But Ubisoft will not fix these weapons probably. They will not fix that 4% engraving on the Cerberus Maze. Most likely. I will be surprised if they do, but at this point I don't believe it. Because the support regarding this is just pure shit. Just those fabricated messages and I don't know, there's nobody working. I will have to keep your expectations low, blah blah blah. If they release new stuff, they also are responsible to fix their new stuff. Otherwise, don't release new stuff.
Yeah, you get another respond and he didn't read the first message. Yeah, classic. Every time you get a new response, it's a different guy. You see that by their names. It's always a different guy responding to you. Yeah, if, if we work together as a community, we can make things to be fixed and changed. But I have little hope for the other issues. I mean, there's not enough people complaining, actually. About, oh, the Dalvon dagger is not working when you engrave the engraving. Okay, I will just use legendary gear anyway. I mean, there's a workaround, okay. But I don't want to use a legendary weapon. You know, I want to engrave the engraving on different gear. That is actually the point to unlock an engraving. Otherwise, I don't need the engraving. If the engraving doesn't work on any other weapon, I don't need it. It's bullshit. Okay, now we got this. I tell you, I'm really fed up with the Ubisoft support. They close everything. They even close it just because they want to close it. At some point, like, I had two of my uh, reports being closed for no reason. There was no warning. They, they, comple they got completely removed. They were not even closed. They, they, they got deleted. Normally, you have a closed issue and open issues. And I had my issues being deleted. At least one. Let's see what this city has in store. That was interesting. I tell you. I mean, if I had like 500,000 zaps or so, I could really make a video yeah. roasting their support now. But I won't do it. It's pointless. I mean, at least they did something. So we have to be grateful after all. But the way they handled it... I mean, it's unprofessional. Not giving anything or not telling anything not even telling if it's fixed i mean okay they they told us they are working on it which was okay uh but not giving a date and then suddenly releasing something that fixes it and never speaking about it that not even mentioning it in the forum okay hey uh, by the way we fixed it now uh no nothing just nothing just quietly fixed it they just quietly fixed it There was no patch, it was a server side fix. There was no big release or something, it was just quietly fixed, probably from server side. By changing those um, store items and the order of engravings to enable the game to display them in some way. I think it must have been a server side fix. Same way they fixed the Oiko store bug, where you got um, a legendary item in every Olympian gift. Of course, they never spoke about it. It was just quietly fixed. You don't have to update the game itself every time. And they also kind of uh, gave me a reply. Like after one or two days, I pushed them to confirm whether they will a patch or not. And then there was one reply from a guy who actually kind of knew what was going on and he, re he replied um, you know that f not for every issue there needs to be a patch released but we are working on it so that me or that meant and that's why I have the feeling they just did something on the server to fix it they maybe changed some internal values to order engravings on shop items or whatever But however they did it, it was fixed. And I'm grateful for that. But it could have been way better. 
the way they did it. Of course we haven't been nice, but we have been angry because we are purchasing their shit every time. And we are allowed to be angry if they mess up, of course. Nothing bad about being angry about something which is broken. Where do we want the next AC to be set? Roman Empire. Best setting. Never used. Or at least they used Rome. But not the Empire at, at a, as a whole. Like they have done it here with the Greek world. They can do it with the Empire. Don't care about Imperial or Republic. Age or whatever. This is a setting they can use to make the game last for 10 years if they always release a new patch, a new region. I mean every patch they could just release an update like every year or every two years that completely adds a new region to the game. Uh, a region which is, which is similarly big as Egypt or the Middle East or North Africa or Iberia or Britannica or whatever. They could just update this game forever. Maybe they will do something like that, I don't know. Assassin's Creed Infinity, it sounds like that will be a huge never ending service to me. I don't know. Um, so what do we have to do here? You guys are distracting me. Yeah, they fixed it fast, of course. It was okay. I mean, let's see if they fix the rest. If they fix the rest, I'm fine. That's That would prove that they really care. But there are so many people over the years who got disappointed. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, this month or next month. Maybe there will be an update, maybe not. But I wouldn't bet on it. You would love World War? No. That's not gonna happen, never. Too much brutality, too much bad history. You can't really sell that era. I mean, American Revolution wasn't all was also not too good, really, really. So. Those big modern war eras are not a good setting for Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is more like in the distant history, not the recent history. I know there was one in London, but. Which was quite recent, but... When I think about Assassin's Creed, I think about ancient history or older history. At least 1000 years ago or more than 500 years. I mean, everything that is less than 500 years ago, I don't think is a good setting. American Revolution, I don't think it was a good setting. And then London, I don't think it was a good setting. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Yeah, you love the American the Revolution, of course. It's an interesting era, but for an AC game. Oh, looking for someone. Uh, 
Okay, he can also give us a quest. Uh, that Cleon quest here is a temporary one. If you don't do that, you will not be able to do this ever again. Because after chapter 4, you cannot uh, do that Cleon quest anymore. And just to remind you doing it, if you haven't done the Cleon quest, you won't get anything special from it. But that's a quest you could miss. One of the very few quests you can miss in this game. Oh shit. That's such a poor ring of chaos. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, now can we upgrade our devastating shot finally? Yes, we can do that. Much more powerful now. Requires spell level 5. Yes, yeah, spell level 5 is so much. Uh, so far on the horizon at the moment. How many shards do we require to upgrade the spare? I think we have to do it. How much? Uh, 3 times to reach level 5. I think that's at least 20 shards or so. Upgrade the spare. Now one of three. We'll probably be close to level 40 or 50 when we actually upgrade the spare to level 5. of Athens I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. <laughs> snakes. Like the Looks like a mini firework dogs. actually. It looks like the thugs who attacked Meteochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. <laughs> Snake bites. And someone hid the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. This must be the house of attack. When you do a Cave for the that Gods mission, if you come the same way plan. you enter, there's a woman. Who's? What the yeah, fuck I did that quest in the stream. You attacked Metiochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and the body. All here. Oh, oh you mean when you uh, don't leave the cave in the same way? A bit of blood being spilled. Can you actually do that? I know someone gave. He's a real hero. It's me. Thank. I need to rid Athens of this snake center. So those quests don't really require you to fight a lot, but they give XP nonetheless. On my video settings, uh, I play on Xbox Series X, so there are not much video settings. <laughs> I can show you those settings. Options. And display. <laughs> this. Uh, no. There is no much you can actually pick. It's not PC. I could just uh, adjust the HDR setting if I wanted to. Oh shit. Oh, he's like a polar mark? That's interesting. That's a polar mark. He 
was actually a problem, Max. That is really crazy. Oh, we have to report. Okay. Jesus Christ. Snakes hurt. But I don't think they deal any more damage with more resistance. Snake damage is really like hard coded. Beware of the snakes in the grass. Oh, come on. I mean, you can't even use a horse here. It's so tight, it won't even run faster. You have to walk all the time. We'll just do the Eden's quest and then I think I'm so tired, guys. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we will make the building process with all the tombs of the Ostraka collection on Tuesday. Maybe, just maybe. Not sure about that yet. I will think about it. Because then we will not regularly progress with the story, we will just do all the stuff that's needed uh, for getting this build done. And I can share that process with you in a stream. Uh, he was a polo mark because he has like uh, two yellow rings. So normal elite soldiers have just um, a yellow circle, but he had two yellow circles. There was another yellow circle around his uh, around his level uh, sign. So if there's a second yellow circle around it, he is uh, a polo mark. That is the leader of forts usually. Oh shit, always struggling to get up here. How did you break? He said you have my I first. Yeah. South and yeah. I'll distract them. What I Okay, did it work? They complete this. Okay, it seemed to work. The escape is here. So the address here has warped in. Magically. Yeah, you can sneak in there, we can just assassinate them. <laughs> Every time I do this, there is someone writing, Yay, you can sneak in there. I know. Yeah, I, I have read it like two or three times now. <laughs> Every time we do this. <laughs> Oh my god, someone made a quest with 100 chickens? Are you serious? Oh my god, that's an unbeatable quest. <laughs> it's probably unbeatable. I am. He said there was. Of course he did. What? No one will see me go in. It is 7,000. It doesn't sneak, yeah. Um, what do we do? Oh yeah, we have to talk to that guy. Yeah, that is the reason why I use Russia's destination, because I don't like to sneak. I would have to sneak around like that. No, just use Russia's destination. It's quicker, faster, more efficient, deals more damage. Good 
from all over the Greek world. You wouldn't think the city was besieged by an army of Spartans. Are you going to finish the game? Oh, are you serious? Come on, dude. I mean, this is chapter 3 and I'm already tired. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning where I live. No, we can't finish it here. I mean, we would have to play at least... Is this a new save? In in a new game plus, I would probably need... Uh, in a new game plus, I would probably need at least 8 hours. So I'm not a speedrunner. I would probably need 8 hours in a new game plus. And this is not a new game plus, this is a new save file. So you can expect it to be at least 16, 20, 30 hours, I don't know. Probably 30 hours or so. Okay, wait. Last time I did this, uh, I needed four streams to complete the base game and the musical creatures. So that was quite quick. But the last stream was like 8 hours long. So it was 12 hours. Um, and then the last stream was 8 hours. So 20 hours for beating the base game. That's really quite long. I won't stream for 20 hours. <laughs> Definitely not, no. I mean, I'm... I, th I think you already see that I'm talking less than before. Or less than at the beginning. So I'm getting tired actually, yeah. So we will do Athens, and I think we will do the um, yeah the Ostraka stuff, the character building. We will do that on Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday evening, maybe. Why am I here even in that house? I don't even know. Oh yeah, here's a marker. That's the reason. What? There was another one behind you. And we are already getting strong, right? That's cool. I like that. So once you reach level 20, there is almost no difference. And especially with this new engraving, we will be so powerful. This will be crazy. This will be absolutely crazy. Oh, come on. I mean, there is the potential that we can even one-shot everything without having to rely on a critical hit. And that could actually change the entire build to be completely different. Maybe we even have to make a critical build then. That is interesting. And that could really change a lot. You're wasting my wood, dude. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. One more arrow, come on. Kill 10 mercenaries, nice. No, 9, nine of 10, not 10. <coughs> so did I collect those things I, I was meant to collect here? Yes, I did. I changed. What? Oh my god, thank you so much. Did I, ac did I accidentally change it? I didn't even notice. Oh, now we deal those serious damage. Look at that. Okay, but those were civilians. Okay, those are civilians. When did I change the damn sword?
We have too many cutscenes, probably. Cutscenes are bad. Okay, whatever, dude. Journey Shoes, I believe that's a special name. Just checking. Oh, damage to spares. Uh, let's see Etika sandals. Oh no, nothing special actually. We are fine with our stuff right now. Uh, this could be better, maybe. Uh, but this is so from the from the stats. This is still the best. The best combination. Better than Hunter. Hunter shit here. Mm, quite okay. Until we hit level twenty. Um. Not for the people, we don't want to do that. We actually have to go to the ship. We can actually fast travel, that's good. We don't have to go there by feet. <laughs> oh shit, I changed it when I tried to light the supplies. Yeah. Okay. It's always good to use fire arrows instead, but it will just uh, it will just drain my resources so quickly at the moment. Well, you're back, Luke Skywalker. When is the next Star Wars movie coming? I was beginning to worry. <laughs> I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Serifos while we still can. You forgive me? For what? Oh, magically walking forward again. Um, I don't have to get this fast road point now, right? Because I have support already. That's nice. I don't have to go there. Um, can we go to the podium? Not the shadows. Escape from Athens. Escort Phidias. Oh, we really have to do this. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Can we not just fast travel here, call the ship? I mean, yeah, that's the same distance. Okay, we will set sail. But I will change to daytime before we do that. No problem, Norma. Bye-bye. I mean, the stream will end in half an hour or so anyway. Still managed to sneak and contact us here. Yeah. You will die like this, definitely. And you died. Thank you for the Spartan Javelin. Sadly, it's not the correct one. To your positions. Welcome back, Commander. Since we are now here in the port, we will actually collect the Ostraka here. There is an underwater location with the riddle 
And the solution is right at the port and we have a fast travel point at the port, so it's really going quick. Should be right here. Oh, we have sharks. I don't even know where to look at shit. Oh, here's a shipwreck. Okay. Not fearing the sharks. <laughs> if you fear them, you're almost dead. Just keep moving, they won't hit you. But if I knew there were sharks, I would have shot them before, so. Okay, now we quickly fast travel back to the port. Um, Odor in the court is located right here. Cassandra needs a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that would be cool. Actually, we got one. We have the Zeus sword. So we could use a lightsaber, but it's definitely not as cool as a real one. Those mercenaries are getting annoying. And this is still nightmare dudes, yeah. So we just have the coffer engraving, we don't even have a crit build. Not yet. So now we have order in the court, 4% crit chance while full health. And go back to the ship. Or maybe, maybe it's now, it's really quicker actually to go to the other side and call the ship there. I think that's quicker. Six hours and counting. Okay, I still want to finish Adams. I'm playing on Xbox Series X. So yeah, basically it should be the same quality as PS5. Sixty FPS here. But the stream is only thirty, so Origins will also get sixty FPS. Probably in preparation for the next crossover. But I have little hope that they will add new stuff to Odyssey. But actually, if they do, there are chances that they will also fix the errors from the weapons. So. But I actually think if we get the Origins crossover, um, that Odyssey is pretty much done. Because we have set up the crossover storyline here from Odyssey and then the next part will only play in Origins most likely. So I don't expect to get another island here for Odyssey actually. Because they set up the story and they will just continue that with Origins and only make an Origins update maybe. 
I think that that is what I expect. Maybe the graphics are better on P than on PS5. I don't know. I don't think there are much differences. But at least you can have this console, yes, right? Uh, PS5 is doesn't come in so handy. Still a lot of overpriced PS5s, I think. I still haven't gotten any. Still debating myself if I should get a PS5 or not. I mean I was I was pretty much a Nintendo guy when I was like in my 20s and then I turned to Xbox because yeah Nintendo was just not producing the games I wanted to play anymore. I mean I'm a big fan of those series from my youth like Mario, Zelda, whatever. But then they started to, to go in a direction I, I didn't like. With weaker consoles with some fancy control stuff. And so I got Xbox, got an Xbox back in the days when the Xbox One was released. And then I stick to my Xbox and never got a Nintendo console. I, I can't, okay, I got, I got the Switch now, but that's mainly for my daughter. It's good to see you alive and well, Phidias. Okay, we have Phidias safe now. And since we have the port, we don't need to go uphill. We don't need to activate the fast road point, which is great. You want to get an Xbox? Yo, get one, of course. Why not? That's cool. Xbox are great. I mean, you can even get the Series S which can play everything in 1440p uh, for only 200, 200 euros. Actually, that's what I recommend if someone wants to get Cyberpunk and has some fear if the quality is not good enough on PS4, uh, which I think is completely fixed. But, um, if you want to get a good experience, just grab a Series X for 200 bucks and then go get the game. It's actually really a bargain to get a Series S for 200. Of course, the real deal is the Series X. But getting a next console, next gen console for 200 compared to like, I don't know, what, what cost the PS5? 600, 800? How much are they selling these at the moment? Well, I could say the same that, uh, of course, also Xbox has some cool games. Personally, not a big fan of Halo, but a lot of people like Halo. There is also Forza, a really cool racing game. Of course, PlayStation has a lot of stuff they have. Um, as they also have their racing franchise, of course. Leave your weapons in the corner and I'll come back when you're done. They have Gran Turismo. Now I got the name. They have Gran Turismo, of course, on PlayStation. I'm still hoping for the next Perfect Dark, actually, that this might be a real surprise success. That would be awesome. Because that will be an exclusive title, I believe. Oh, 
was a real good I think a, a really huge perfect dark fan and also a good player I've seen a lot you could I don't care just do whatever and give me the XP <laughs> oh my god those quests were interesting when you do them the first time but uh, not no sorry okay let's do the wine stuff Drink, 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 guys. Here I come. More wine. More wine. <laughs> it's just so annoying when you do that like the twentieth time in your life uh, these quests. But anyway, this one is a fun one. <clears throat> Someone's being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in. Such it sound well it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between To be honest, I don't even want anything on PlayStation. I if you ask me, I'm so fine with what I have. So I don't care really. There is no incentive for me actually to get a PlayStation at the moment or maybe ever, I don't know. Okay, we got the drink up. If I want a good racing game, I get Forza. There's a Forza race, a racing branch and the Horizon branch with open world, which is both really amazing. It's an amazing game. Uh, yeah, we have Halo or just play Call of Duty, which is probably better anyway. It's a lot of stuff. There's another goat. Another goat. <laughs> Xbox took Elder Scrolls. I mean, if you want to play everything, just get both. But for me, it's just not worth it at this point because I'm not a big fan of Horizon Zero Dawn or something like that. And no. well, that I've never played me? any Gran Turismo at all. I'm looking for someone. So. All business right until Such as these women. When you the fun continues. And now we got Socrates. Button mashing. Of course you should listen to the dialogues at least once. Because it's really cool what they tell you, what, what you do here, but... It's not like that, that I would love to read this for the 20th time here, really. That's why I skip it. Tsushima is boring. I don't know. I haven't played it. I heard a lot of people talking really good stuff about Ghost of Tsushima, praising it. But I'm not well such a hardcore so sword player, you know. I like Odyssey here also character. because we have such a ah, versatile uh, gameplay with assassinations, with yes. hunter, with warrior. You can basically do everything. And I am not the hardcore sword player who has a lock on the enemy and then parry and then heal, dodge, parry, fight, attack. You know? You know what I mean. I'm, I'm not that pure hardcore sword player. I like my abilities and stuff like that. Wow, Margaret16! Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for becoming a supporter. Also make sure to uh, go to Discord, connect your YouTube account to your Discord to get access to the uh, member channels, to the wallpapers and all that stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah, 
There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An you hated the trailer, but you liked Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, well. Her name is Xenia. I know. But is it really worth getting a console for five, six hundred euros for that? You know? Be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank if you Jesus. already have a Switch, if you already when have a Series X, here, we will if you have a PC you where you could theoretically play everything you would like on. Oh shit, I want to climb. I'll help you however I can. Oh no, I have to... Yeah, you cannot climb here, that's the thing. I remember. Um, where's the staircase? The staircase is where Alcibiades is. So where's Alcibiades? Now after like 10 playthroughs, I remember that the staircase is next to Alcibiades. Because I remember Alcibiades. <laughs> Here we go. <coughs> yeah, not for one game, most likely, yeah? You know. <laughs> Old console, <Cassandra>. no! <laughs> I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. <laughs> I give you, yeah, this is unforgettable. <laughs> Yeah. If you remember something in together with Alcibiades, you will not forget it ever. <laughs> so next time you write um, your notice for for going to the grocery store, think about Alcibiades, and you will not forget anything. Uh, <laughs> she says I don't interact with our guests enough, but these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds or a side. Ah. Your yes, yes. Er <coughs> okay. Phoebe, you shouldn't be here. When I first uh, noticed that Phoebe is here, I was actually surprised and thought, oh wow, that's cool having Phoebe here and stuff and having a good place for her, but actually I was so wrong. Only of conversation. See? I've had an you get used to it. What are you going to You know what? We still don't have this out outfit as a transmog and that is also really bad. Still don't have that evening outfit such a shame well, I'll probably go to Argos first no Corinthia actually but it doesn't matter what we pick here Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. No. Open the cultist menu. We're still learning stuff. Unveil cultists. That's Demos. Of course. The cult is nothing without me. Level Even 35. Oh my, my god, you're so weak, dude. Okay, 11,000. We are almost level 19. So we're getting close. But I think we will continue on Tuesday, most likely. Uh, to get this... All this stuff collected. And, yeah, to prepare the build and the build video. So we'll save this now. So we played up to level 18 in just 6 hours. And did so much stuff. We visited Corfu, got the engraving, stuff like that. 
So at the moment we are 2700. Yeah, that is, we have to get more aura damage, definitely. Because this number is increasing faster than our warrior damage. But we will take care of that. If we get the other 100% from Falks and better weapons with damage with swords, that is what matters. We need weapons with damage with swords. Then we can multiply this to be... It should actually be 5000 or so already at level 20. With proper weapons, with a sword of action, with Hater Sarper, we will hit 5000 here. And oh yeah, we are almost 19. So if we do the Hater Sarper quest, that should be unlocked now. So it was necessary to do Athens. Hater Sarper will be unlocked, the friend in need quest. We can loot the Sword of Axon also then. So pretty great. I think we are almost set up for a good Tuesday stream uh, where we then finish the build. That would be cool. So I hope you enjoyed it today. Uh, thank you for all your, oh, what's that? Thank you for all your donations. Thank you for checking out the stream. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for becoming members. You're absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. Especially thank you all the members, all the new members and everyone who subscribed today and who watched the stream. Thank you so much guys. <coughs> Until next time. Bye bye.